Hidaki Masu, everybody. Hidaki Masu. <laughs> Man, I took one step into that rave and gosh, I still smell it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not even a character right now. This is Mikey's opinion. Golly, it's the worst thing I've ever smelled. And I've walked around Washington, D.C. at 3 a.m. Mm. <laughs> Um, would we like to play some D&D? I would like to. Okay. Um, Rich, why don't you go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage for me, please? Once upon a witch-light hour, the sleeping queen stirred in her tower, and through grand halls past lock and key, came to her slumber dreams of three. The first brought laughter filled with fright, the second love defiled by spite, the third a world of pure delight. She welcomed these, they were her own, but soon from porcelain lips a groan. Her silvery dreamscape now forsaken, to pain from which she'd not awaken. Something blighted had come hither, foul as nightshade creeping thither. From yon the grave-like curse did wither. The little prince wept in his spire, his wounded heart had one desire. A ballad from the dreaming queen could turn his maelstrom mind serene. He vowed her rescue, speech sincere, but toys would be his shield and spear, and so he scoured for one full year. In springtime wreathed in parenthood, the prince first found a toy of wood, a doll set, beasts and wild things. But listen close, and each one sings. A song of child, owl, and bear, a song that calls the spirits there, a song for monsters with much hair. When summer heat steamed like a kettle, the prince then found a toy of metal, a rocking horse with ashen mane. Around its neck was draped a chain, its horn and eyes and nose shoot flame, with mighty hooves and sturdy frame, no better steed one could proclaim. He searched from autumn's harvest throne, the prince then found a toy of bone, lettered blocks stacked to the sky, when turned to words could only lie. Deceit known to the hounds of hell makes for a potent hex or spell of souls, of sin, of shadow fell. Through winter's chill from peak to pass, the prince then found a toy of glass, marble spun in measured motion, like careful thought or certain notion, each glinting cat's eye seeing all, from stars beyond the cosmic sprawl, to inner strength and mind's recall. The day has come, no time for rest. The fateful toys placed in a chest with stripes of white and stripes of red, just like a big top by his bed. The little prince prepares a flower for either outcome, sweet or sour, and makes a wish for love, for power, once upon a witch light hour. at the Witchlight Carnival for about five hours at this point. Though, for you, it's felt like weeks, maybe even eight weeks, for all of you. Over the past hour or so, you have spent your time, three of you have spent your time leading Torbeck around the carnival itself, playing games, indulging in guys' night, um, and overall just having a jolly good time. All the while, your friend Frost has been held up inside the wagon of Mr. Witch and Mr. Light after an interesting performance at the Big Top Extravaganza. The last hour ended with a snail race where Gricko was able to win the title of Snail Race King. Oh, yes. It was as the as the jubilance died down, that you found yourselves alone on the track. The lights went out and out of the shadows emerged a group of figures. Mr. Witch among them as his bodyguards took Torbeck into their, um, into their control and chose to head back to the wagon with him. You had received a letter telling you of Torbeck's sordid past, that he'd been here for the entire 
time the carnival's been here, but his drunken antics had led to um, being paid multiple times, as well as the theft of a cardboard cutout named uh, Clementine. Uh, <laughs> theft being one of the taboos and the no-goes at the carnival or anywhere oh in the God. Feywild, mm. and he needed to pay for his crimes. <clears throat> You kept him entertained while Mr. Witch and Mr. Light could figure out exactly what they'd planned to do with him. And it was at this point that Mr. Witch came to collect. And as you were standing here, you watch as Burly, the pixie, Riata, Flog, and um, oh, yeah. another one of the uh, one of his bodyguards, which appears to look like a... Um, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> Appears to look like a bugbear in a clown outfit. <laughs> Begins to make their way off of the track with with Torbeck. Uh, off into uh, the distance, heading back towards, you uh, imagine, the wagon. Mr. Witch thanks you for your, uh, for your assistance and lets you know that when you're ready, he'll see you there. And Frost is free to go. As he turns around and walks back into the shadows, you're left alone, standing here in the middle of this track. Frost, still nowhere to be seen. Torbeck, taken away to some unknown fate. What do you do? Hey, Grico, is that bugbear in a clown outfit? Is that Jerry? No. <laughs> you mean my political arch rival, Jeremus? <laughs> Of the Hobgoblintopia, far worse than Goblintopia. Agreed. I have no interest in uniting with Hobgoblintopia. They can get fucked for all I care. <laughs> you said a lot of crazy stuff, but that's the first thing you said that made sense. Yes, yes. No, the chief export of Hobgoblintopia is Hobgoblin Surfing Turf. <laughs> It's very similar to Goblin Surf and Turf, except it's all a bunch of processed soybean slugs. <laughs> I don't know how they eat that shit. Now look, what I'm saying is don't get any ideas. Just because he's dressed like a clown doesn't mean you have to kill him. All right, kid? I, listen, Kremmy, I don't have anything against clowns. I just keep happening to kill him. I never set out to, to do it. My, my point is it's almost like fate's drawn you to the doom. And I'm saying you should you should try to resist the pull instead of just going along with it. Like when Rico leaves you and says, "Hey, check a meatball with your twenty strength at that poor unsuspecting clown." What? Well, you're presuming that the pull is coming towards me. What if in in fact it's the reverse, and that clowns are being pulled into my fist? You know, Gid, that's a fair point. Maybe oh. you, you're just a helpless bystander to all of this uh, death and misery. Either way, we got it. A wise observation from the master of coin, no doubt. <laughs> How do you fix him? I, you know what? I, uh, I actually like him better this way. Uh, snail number two. Now that we have sacrificed. The snails are no longer there with you. Snail number two. <laughs> now that we have sacrificed that bugbear yokel. <laughs> You will now be my new master of uh, oh, ships. It was no, I'm ships. Oh, Grico sure. is the master of ships. <laughs> I think uh, yeah, I, I think he was the <laughs> yeah no Grummy was the master, master of law. That was the you one. will be a just master of law, <laughs> snail number two. <laughs> but we must, after such an act of war from Hobgoblin Dobia, <laughs> we must arrange a small council meeting. Right now? Yes. So we must find my hand of the king. Which is who? Sir Frosting, Lord Frostington. <laughs> of House Frostington. <laughs> the words are, I just love beans. <laughs> That's what it's going to bar. Yeah. I just love beans. This sigil is a uh, big. <laughs> Very beefy tiger with a red scarf. <laughs> <laughs> like pointing in the air. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> with a big cartoon Twitter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the school bus yellow. <laughs> um, so, look, look, look. I think we got to get out of these outfits before Frost comes back. Because if he sees us in these, he's never going to let us live it down. 
What outfits? My kingly garb. <laughs> you dress like a taxidermy rat. <laughs> No, oh, but with my face paint, I have a plastic beard and crown. He looks like the Burger King. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. It's cloak. not even just a beard and a crown. It's an actual like wooden hat, like head yeah. that's on you that looks like the Burger King guy. I am. My goblin nose pointed to it. Well, is this mean guys' night's over? Yeah, I mean we do. We're doing guys' night as a favor to, to Mister. Witch, right? Showing tore back a good time. And I guess we were buying time until they could prove that he was a horrible criminal, and I guess the sow pig's coming for him or something. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's a name. No, 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 <laughs> oh, okay, well let's what? let's go. Let, let's can we hurry back to the back to the big top? Is that is where he, is he at the big? I thought he was in a cart behind the behind the big top. Yeah, I know. I want to get chained first. Oh, so yeah. Do you remember yeah. that leaving the big top? There was the staff area, which right next to it had the the costume and prop department, which is where you got your outfits. Oh, Back after that, that was a little open area where Burley was essentially guarding, and then there was the um, the carriage or the wagon that Mr. Witch and Mr. Light in the staff area. Behind the staff Behind area. Behind the staff yes, area. Yes, so there's like oh, the... there's a little mushroom back there. Yeah. Big top, <laughs> staff area. Nice. Mr. Witch and Mr. Light. I Mr. Light. Mr. Mushroom. I get it. <laughs> what? I missed it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Astute oh, observation. <laughs> what say you, Grandmaster? Hi! <laughs> I forgot! You fucking puppet! <laughs> I think it's pretty cool that you're directly responsible for the inevitable horrible torture of Torbert. <laughs> well, Grandmaster, you are quite wise. I hadn't really realized that. <laughs> I don't actually think he needs us here. Do you want to get food? Oh, yeah. Right. 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 You want to go to McDonald's or something? Yeah. yeah I actually right. turned on the side. We've gotten all these comments about how good Mike's Frost impression was, and it was like Derek was under the table, or like he never left. I think Mike should do like a, a one-man Feywild, or one, one-man witch like Yeah, he's a horse. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> are you ready to go? Yes, I should believe we are. Mm. Uh, but now that my bride Snarly has said she's not ready to be betrothed, I must fuck a troll too. <laughs> <laughs> we must find a troll to save my ailing kingdom. Yeah, also, a- everything tastes like oil. It must be hobgoblins <laughs> and their vegetable oil attacks. Uh, that's weird. I never noticed that with the hobgoblins. You know, everything I'm, I'm making like I'm making an executive decision because I just got another twist. That at any time I can use a twist of dread to give all of you a fakers. Ooh, Ooh, I love yeah. that. I love that. Good, I won't yeah. be tired tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> or one person specifically, however I want to do it. I think you all point your curse as loud as you can. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's an executive decision. I make the rules, so. Everything Good tastes cool. oily. Trolls are attractive. I want to get in a long-term relationship with one. I'm the leader of a great alien kingdom, mm-hmm. and I have been for 10 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, all food I eat tastes like chicken. Mm-hmm. And whenever giant is spoken, it's great. <laughs> All five of those. So, oily chicken? Uh, Everything tastes like the grease trap at a Popeyes. Mm. Uh, Gold God. Crown. Uh, 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 and the chocolate fondue fountain. <laughs> Hold on, we're going to go down the table. We're going to start off with King Schmebula. Schme- yeah. What do you have? 83. 83. <clears throat> Roll again. Oh, that one I can't change. 
you are now aware of the exact time and and uh, state of your death. <laughs> <laughs> and I will let you decide. I will let you decide what that's going to be. That's awful. <laughs> I know. Oh. Uh, four. Four, 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 four. What a nightmare. <laughs> you can no longer distinguish your left from your right. <laughs> yeah, it's an easy one. 75. 75. <sighs> uh, roll again, please. 98. Wow, that's Ooh, a high one. It's pretty high. You cannot stop emitting, emitting a melodious ringing noise. <laughs> what, what would that be like? <laughs> Basically. It's you know what? To... Roll again. That one's not going to work. That would be hard quiet. to do. 72 for me. 72. That's not, it's not good enough. 72 is that good? No, 72. 100. You... Okay, perfect. Oh, um, no. You got the same one as Gricko. You also believe that you are the ruler of a kingdom oh, for 10 years, but it, is in, it has fallen into Don't ruin. Don't let me do it. Easy to do. <laughs> so, no. We now have two kings. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. Congratulations. <laughs> 100. 100, I know. It's not very good, to be oh, honest. Cool. We're going to update this table. We are soon. updating 59. this table. Once I finish updating it, we'll be on our Patreon. Yeah. 59, you said? 59. <clears throat> yeah, because some of these are more like long term. Uh, you are now sensitive to all light. Oh, ah, ah. Thank you. Oh, my eyes. Is anyone else getting that? I think it's migraine. You know, like an old when the aura comes on. Silence, master ah. of ships. Yes, silence. We must make bread with <laughs> King um. R- Rodiandra. Oh, King Rodiandra <laughs> from the nation of. <laughs> <laughs> Of, from the from Farkelstein. <laughs> ah, the yes. great kingdom of Farkelstein. Yes. King you, you, know this, you know this, Lord Grico, don't you? I don't know what you're talking about. With the chief Lord exports, Grico. of course, being... Uh, fire. Ah, yes, fire. <laughs> All of these torches you see around you, I'm just dressing in here. Of this great hall has been imported from Falkenstein. Yes, not the torches. Just so the flame. Just the fire. No, just we, the fire. we make our own torches. You we have to coin. carry it with your hands. Well, I, gentlemen, I have had a vision. <laughs> yeah. What is this vision, Falcon? Well, I must sire an heir by fucking a troll. <laughs> and he will unite our peoples. The troll you have to fuck is... Yeah. Uh, you will? No, you my son. My oh, heir. Your heir. My heir. Okay. I will have a beautiful troll wife. <laughs> She's going to be like, oh, 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 oh. Uh. You that a lot tonight, Yeah, I'm out of the experience. That doesn't help. And I will have a noble son, my firstborn son, Globo, second of his name. <laughs> Being a troublin, he will have deep resentment towards his father, a true-born goblin. And although he will be the chosen one destined to save Goblintopia, by becoming king, he will stab me in the back. Not figuratively. <laughs> well, I guess also figuratively. It's both. You would raise a cowardly heir to not strike you down to your face. Uh, I shouldn't have named him Globo the second of his name. <laughs> yes, that was your first mistake. Yeah. Yeah. That's not too late, right? It's your second mistake. No, no, we cannot change our fate once we know it. Your first Get mistake was siring a troublin'. Yes. Are you calling me Lord Grigo? Yes, Lord Grigo. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I uh, fucked Mikey, fucked up once, and now he's running with the joke. <laughs> 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 Well, we need to get We've lost. Now that we've lost, 
<laughs> our master of laws and our master of coin. Yeah. Who's your master of laws? Uh, I don't even remember his name. He's very forgettable. Oh, uh, yes. 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 Snail yes. number two. No, only royals are talking, Lord Greco. <laughs> Mind your place. <laughs> Bring us a great ball. <laughs> Ah, so they were frozen peas. <laughs> Can I please ask what the fuck is up with the frozen <laughs> peas? Uh, uh, the tropes. Uh, uh, Snarly. God bless Snarly. <laughs> <laughs> and her ass barren personality. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Your last name is Shmebulon? Uh, my name is his only name. Shmebulon. And your fucking Morbo? <laughs> no, secondly, he's named after my dear uncle. His dear uncle, the zombie that haunts him sometimes. Mm. Oh, so your name is not Gorbo Shmebulon. No. What's your first name? My name is Shmebulok. Shmebulok, Shmebulok? My first name is King. <laughs> <laughs> that tracks. My father came and he said, Son, one day you will be king. And I said, Dad, I'm already king, that's me name. <laughs> and they're like, no, you'll also be, I mean, I'm the king of Goblintopia, and when I die, because we have a, uh, a hereditary monarchy, then you will be king. And you know that, you're, that Frost isn't there, right? Uh, so he's, he's talking, he's talking, he's talking to Derek. Derek. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking to I'm talking to Derek. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I just like the There's idea. literally no one here. Yeah, I'm talking. No, no, no. Derek is in the carnival. Yeah, yeah. it's just Derek oh, standing over there. Uh, you will hey, be, guys. you will be my new master of laws because of your very nice sweater. Oh, thank you. Got it at a Banana Republic. Oh, yeah, we're not running a Banana Republic. You are fired. <laughs> there is just a random man that looks exactly like Derek who had been in the stands for the snail race who came down to get an autograph and he's just talking to Shmebula. Like, Alright, I'll I, 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 bye. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Colin used to dress like that. Who? Oh, 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 no, I guess you don't. Colin? Who the accountant Colin? Oh, oh you gone, mean just... Reynolds of the Corrupt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let us go. <laughs> I grow tired of this bearded man. <laughs> that that bearded man. His bearded man <laughs> and his V-neck swelling. And as they walk away, I'll be like, "Wow, there went King King Schmebel." <laughs> ah yes. <clears throat> and you make your way out of the arena. Uh, it takes you a while. The arena is quite large, but you do make your way out and onto the street. Um, and as you do, um, Gricko, um. everything but your most recent um, fake curse fades from you. Something has happened. <laughs> Are you back? Ah. What's your name? Krami, how do you forget my name? It's Gricko. What's my name? Did I just say Kremi? Oh no, it's Briggsy, sorry. Gosh, I keep messing that up. <laughs> oh, your name's not Grico, you're King Schmebulak! Fellow liege! We seek your hand of the hand of the Maester. Hand Frostington! Of Frostington? Se first of his name from the Frostington Ghost. <laughs> is that what like the name that Frosty gives himself when he like writes his little stories uh, in the night? Uh, but uh, assumed his name was bequeathed from you. I feel like I was Majesty. supposed to. I feel like I was supposed to do something and I've forgotten. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, are you talking about Hootsie? No. Who? No. <laughs> See? No. <laughs> you, I was supposed you, to you, do you something. Adolescent Albert daughter that was uh, captured no, by the sap. No, 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 fool. No. He means fuck a troll. <laughs> Oh, that does sound familiar. It's probably that. Yes. Did I fuck a troll lately? Not Almost. Yes. Very close. She didn't uh, want you. Uh, <laughs> well, no, didn't she did. Want but... <laughs> she didn't want a long-term, <laughs> lasting relationship. Oh, well, I mean, I'm ready for one of those. Either. I mean, I've got a, I've, I've got a lot, a lot going on. You've right got now. a sire of trouble in air. What? I've just saw an air. 
Yes, I, I, I hate there. kids. I hate kids. No way. Oh, well, your kingdom will fall faster than <laughs> it already did. <laughs> <'Cause> it's failing. <laughs> but so is mine. Oh. So, I do. And how will you save your kingdom? <laughs> are we doing some like. Are we doing some like. Why am I dressed like this? <laughs> do you remember anything? I feel the, like I need to. You remember have, a big bugbear guy named like Zolbeck or something? Torbeck? <coughs> oh, what was his name? Torbeck. Torbeck. Oh, Torbeck. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you didn't lose all of your memories. You just lost all the fakers. No, bro. I mean, there's a lot of curses like kind of scrabbled in my brain. <laughs> it's like I'm all coming back. My eyes like. <laughs> I don't think these fae really think about like the long-term impacts of all of these fakers. <laughs> it's like playing professional football. You know, I'm feeling like doing another one. <clears throat> oh no! Come on, we got to go get frost. Let's go. Well, first we gotta get changed, and then we're gonna go with frost. Yes, Lord Frostington. All right, kids, come on, come on. Um, His presence is needed. I, I need your help. Mm-hmm. I want you to just and anybody's help. Just an embarrassing nickname. Lord Purvis. Purvis. <laughs> Greco, your name's Purvis now. Oh! My name is Purvis, obviously. Oh. Do you have any other names, like your main name? Or have you been, been Purvis like your whole No, own my, my name has always been Purvis, okay. <sighs> oh, Torbeck! Guys Knight! Yeah, Guys Knight! Hey, yeah. Guys Knight! Oh, that's right! Cremmy, your breathing is now loud and obnoxious. <sighs> Ah. Uh, Fro- uh, no, Frost isn't there, so Gideon, goblins now look like beautiful women. Uh, love this, you hideous squire. I mean, you beautiful, gorgeous squire. Oh. <laughs> yes. I think I will say that error after all. They call me Pervina. <laughs> There's only one way to save my ailing kingdom. We'll never defeat the hobgoblin, uh, the hobgoblin kingdom of Hobgoblin Topia without a strong. What are you doing? Are you okay? Are you dying? Uh, no, I, I think it's a little bit of like wake and sleep apnea or something. Oh, uh-huh. you're dying where you stand. What do they call that horrific? wake apnea? Uh, I'd banish you from the kingdom if anyone was left. There's <laughs> nobody left. Nobody's left. Nobody's left. Nobody's left. Kingdom. What a what a tragic end to your line. Well, it's not over yet. With you looking like that. Oh, Tina. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I, I think you know, we can bring it back. It's kind of something I kind of put together. I think. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like I'm I'm just like a king that sells a uh, very low quality hamburgers. <laughs> All right, look. Sounds delicious. And I'll give y'all ten more minutes of guys' night, and then we're gonna go get changed, and then we're gonna go, go get frost. You understand? Ooh, guys' night. <clears throat> Do you think that uh, old? Now that we've uh, <clears throat> were a bunch of knocks and turned in uh, old Torbeck. <laughs> And doomed him to a terrible fate. Do you think old Laszlo is free? Laszlo uh, Grigorovich. Laszlo Grigorovich. Oh, yes. The most ladyship. beautiful creature in the realm. Oh, please. Is she a tat? She's hideous. Not really. Compared to you. Not really. Pavina. Oh. Well, thank you. I, I would agree, but everyone's like, oh, a legend and elves are so pretty. I'm like, no, thank you. No more type. And while all of that is happening... Back in the wagon, Uh-oh. Frost, you have been led inside of a very poor- <laughs> I do have an invisible mage hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, that's just my mind. <laughs> Ugh, I love beans. <laughs> don't, do, don't, don't worry, it's my mind. hands to myself. That's my mind. <laughs> I'm just using my imagination. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fuck. Okay, so anyway, back inside the wagon, you are led inside by Gordon. He does not follow you in, but he does close the door behind you, and you find that this place is very plush. There are there's seating everywhere. It's um, 
It is covered in uh, velvets and satins and silks of many different colors. And though the colors are vibrant and, and vary in range, they all somehow look like they belong together. This kaleidoscope of colors in front of you. And sitting at the very back of the wagon, uh, up against a large, um, a large red tufted circular uh, pillow, is Mr. Light. His legs crossed one over the other as he twirls his weather vane in one of his hands. And he looks over at you and he pats the seat next to him with a smile. Thank you for inviting me. I uh, uh, appreciate your hospitality. How, how, how can I be of service, Mr. Light? <laughs> Well, it's good to see you, Frost. It's good to see you. I must first offer you an apology for my performance in the big tub. Did you hear the crowd, Frost? The way they cried at the back at my tragedy? Yes, I didn't mean to uh, bring up such a sad memory or to disturb the Did you the crowd. see the way they gasped? I did. When I showed them what my past was like? It was very uh, embarrassing for me. That was not my intent. It was magical. Oh. Way the audience engage with such a deep and meaningful moment. Oh, ah, <sighs> that's performance, Frost. Okay. Performance to its core. Well, that's you, what the carnival is all about. You rolled with the punches nicely. Uh, I, this uh, this carnival uh, it's very common for you to suddenly be swept up in emotion and uh, uh, change by some sort of fey magic. I think it's uh, really taking me some getting used to. Do you know how the Witchlight Monarch is picked? I would like to very much. That was actually going to be one of my questions. He spins the witchlight vein on his hand. This vein I have in my possession, it picks the monarch for me. Oh. It knows exactly who has altered the emotions at this carnival in the way that it needs to be altered to be crowned the witchlight monarch. And Frost, it's leaning heavily toward you. Well, I would like to be the monarch king very much. That surprises me and delights me. That's terrific. Yes, now that I'm sitting here with you and I'm close to you, I see that you're not very charismatic. <laughs> I am quite surprised by the weather vane's choice. I, I'm not often described as charismatic, that is true. Yes, quite bland and monotone. <laughs> I, I don't know if bland is the word I would use. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, no, but it was my word choice, Frost. Oh, well, you've got me there. <laughs> I, uh, uh, my, my friends are almost certainly just waiting outside, not doing anything. Uh, would you let me know how would I Would you can... like a fancy tart? A fancy tart? Yes, or a cupcake. I would... A fancy tart would be fine. Well, I won't be busy for the next two hours. And he winks at you. <laughs> where, where are the tarts? <laughs> <laughs> you know the tarts never can. <laughs> you know, why don't you just go ahead and have one of these cupcakes here? I look around for cupcakes. There's a tray of cupcakes on the. <laughs> oh, oh, the table. yes. Uh, the, the, they're just, they're the same cupcakes that you had when uh, you won them. <laughs> You see, what I like to do with the icing on top is I, I pull the bottom off and I make something of a cupcake sandwich. <laughs> Weather vane, are you sure? <laughs> And you watch as it spins, and it slowly starts to stop and linger on you before it continues to spin. Mm -hmm. Well, there is something about you, that's for sure. So tell me, how'd you do this trick? What, what are you here for? What are you looking for? What are you trying to get from the Witchlight Carnival? Someone like you isn't here for a night of fun and games. I am very much enjoying the fun and games. I hope to uh, uh, experience all of them without uh, skipping a single one. I'm just, <laughs> as soon as my friends uh, and I join each other, we'll be able to continue on and enjoy this carnival game. Okay. <laughs> Sucker. So you're you're trying to tell me that someone with your talents, your ability, and your lack of charisma is here solely to play carnival games and nothing else? Uh, well, I, I, I will admit that uh, what prompted us to come to this uh, carnival was uh, 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 something of a situation. Uh, we, were, we were going to be paid uh, to actually uh, uh, see if we could investigate a little bit and uh, find the patron of an elderly man who grows giant pumpkins. Investigate what, Frost? You're here at my carnival investigating? You didn't bother to stop by and talk to the proprietors of this place? 
uh, we assumed that you would be too busy. I, I thought maybe we would wait until the end of the carnival if we were going to. You must be running this thing. Uh, I can't you, imagine you look nervous, it. Frost. Do yeah. I make you nervous? And he leans in really close to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Go ahead and have another cupcake. Just one more, perhaps. <laughs> Why don't you show me again the cute way you eat that cupcake? <laughs> it's really quite ingenious. It keeps the frost. Uh, if, if you start with frosting, it gets stuck to the top of your head, and if you if you put the it frosting, it's stuck to the top of your head. Uh, the the mouth of your uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the 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 roof of your mouth. <laughs> yes. I see. So tell me more about this person and who you're looking for. Uh, well, this elderly gentleman, uh, he mentioned to us that he thought that we might be able to find his, um, his, uh, his patron here, uh, or I believe it might have been a matron in this case. Uh, he's effectively, effectively a warlock, and, mm. uh, he has, uh, been gifted, uh, phenomenal powers, uh, from this, uh, uh, matron, um, and, uh, he wanted us to check in on her to see if everything was all right, and he indicated that this carnival would be, uh, the best place to start. And did you get a name? The name of the uh, matron or the name of the gentleman? Both. Uh, his name was... Matrick Rosloff. I have it written down. No, Matrick Rosloff, actually. Matrick Rosloff, actually. <laughs> and uh, the uh, name of his matron, uh, Zabilna. If either of those names are familiar to you. Perhaps you can point me and my companions in the right direction. Never heard of them. Are you, um, are you in league with a certain Kenku that's been causing a stink around the carnival? No, say Kenku. Absolutely not. Uh, though I will say that we've stumbled across uh, its path. Uh, we, uh, my friend Kremi, almost destroyed the Kenku when he blasted away a bush at the dragonfly rider. You have a bit of frosting on your lip, Frost. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and wipe it off. I think you got all of it. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, we were at the uh, dragonfly riding uh, uh, ride. And um, there was a, a bit of a kerfuffle, and unfortunately we only found a, a feather or two, I believe, but... And if I tasked you with bringing this Kenku to justice for maybe an answer to one or two or all of your questions, would you do it? Could you do it? To you and your an friends? answer my questions? Uh, to, to, to perhaps yes, you, point you, us in the right direction of You mentioned when I, um, when I talked to you about the monarch... The witch like monarch that you had a list of questions. If I was willing, and I could convince Mr. Witch to be willing to answer your questions, could you bring the Kenku to justice? <laughs> could you convince your unruly and incontrollable friends mm -hmm. to do this task? They, they will join me. I don't know if I can say I can control them. Uh, not yet, anyway. My mind powers are still expanding. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, what I will say is... Um, uh, I think that's a fair cost if you help me un uh, understand what the nature of justice is in a place like this. Uh, uh, would you be the one to um, deliver said justice, or would you be the one to uh, just simply hand this He's, Kenku he over He puts to his finger on your lips and shushes you. <laughs> if you bring this Kenku to justice, I will answer all of your questions. Well, I would typically consult my... My, my friends before They're I... currently on a mission for Mr. Witch. They'll be indisposed for the next hour or so. Have another cupcake, Frost. <laughs> Help me to understand the nature of the uh, Skanku's crimes. Uh, I know he put someone in danger at the ride, but... Uh... <laughs> For podcast listeners, Derek is miming, peeling a cupcake, breaking off the bottom and placing it on top of the cupcake before taking a bite. This Kenku <clears throat> snuck into our carriage in the hopes of getting answers to similar questions mm. to yours. We have been doing what we can to find the answers to those questions, not to assist the Kenku, but we find the questions pertinent to our cause. Kenku is not pleased with our unwillingness to speak to them. Have another cupcake, Frost. Do I feel compelled to take the cupcakes? No. Okay. I uh, have had quite a bit of cake already today, <laughs> uh, but thank you. I... Would you prefer a... Three cupcakes is enough. Would you prefer a tart? Do I see tarts? 
technically. <laughs> <laughs> it is very tempting. I don't usually indulge in sweets like this. It's just the the carnival has me all riled up. <laughs> The witch-like carnival has a way of playing with one's emotions and bringing out our true feelings, our true nature, I if you that. understand what I'm saying. I hope that I can find the, the discipline and focus I note in, in my true heart. He scoots there. over a little bit closer to you. <coughs> what is that scent you're wearing, Frost? It's intoxicating. Yeah, this is just my natural musk, but thank you. Hmm. We should bottle it up. Could sell it for a hefty price. Now, as I was saying, this Kenku has been causing a stink around the carnival because we would not give her the answers to the questions she sought. And she believes if she were to make our carnival uninhabitable or unprofitable, we would be forced to give her the answers she seeks. This is not true. It will not work. She's not going to win. But she has a thorn in our side, and we would like to have her removed. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I think I do, and I would agree with that uh, mission. I, it, just intrinsically, this is a fantastic carnival. What um, what I would like is if you could promise me that the Kenku would not be injured or killed. I can't promise you that, Frost. But I can promise you, you don't have to do the injuring or the killing. Have another cupcake, Frost. <laughs> You're I'm thinking right. too much. No, no, I... Yeah, let me light get... some incense. And he reaches over and he lights a stick of incense. The um, smell of uh, elderberry fills the fills the carriage. Is that elderberry? <laughs> oh, you have a very sensitive nose. I have spent my life honing my senses. I am quite sensitive to smells, visions, touch. <laughs> he puts his hand on your thigh. <laughs> Oh, I so see. So am I, Frost. <laughs> I, uh... Feel, and uh, we will go back to the other scene! I feel conflict. <laughs> uh, I don't think you understand that I have to fuck a giant swan leader. <laughs> I'm spent. Uh, what was my curse? What was my curse again? You gotta start writing this shit down. Frost is about to get Bring me tributes. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by some weird troublin' named Globo the Second. What the fuck is gonna happen? Why? I know the exact time and date. I would never let that happen to you, Povina. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that was your name. I forgot that was my name. Thank you. <laughs> Lord, um, what was your you. name again? Uh, it was Lord. Rodeandra. Oh, Rodeandra. Yes, you, King Rodeandra. Where do you get this stuff, Gid? What do you mean? Gid. That, Rodeandra. Your name is Gideon. No, Gideon. My name's always been Pinks Purvis. My, <laughs> no, my, my name, name is, is King Rodeandra. My name is Purvis. My name is King Rodeandra, ruler of a kingdom. All right, that one down. Oh, I did. It was Farkostan. It was Farkostan. Farkostan. I mean, yeah. Farkostan. <laughs> Farkostan. Ruler of Farkostan. Main export fire. It's actually how we were ailing. Is I didn't realize if you export just fire, you actually just burn everything down around you. Yeah, that sounds like, you know. Yes. Doesn't mix well with, like, logging. I fired all my advisors. Well, maybe you deserve to fail then, Gid. I mean, King Ro Rodandra, whatever you. your name is. Yes. Rodiantha. I think. Rodiandra. Oh, Rodiandra. Oh, okay. Rodiandra. Yes. I was closer than you, Kremmy. <laughs> You okay? What's your name? Do you need like a lozenge? Do you need like some flonase? Oh, you got some flonase? Try it, okay, here, yeah, I got a little. <laughs> How you feel? How you feel? Oh, I think that actually. Uh, uh... You know, it worked for about like a second. Oh, oh that's usually how flonase works. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's usually how. <laughs> you know, flow right yeah, back up. just right, yeah, right back up. Flonase never stood a chance. Okay, well, it is God's not. So you know, I'm taxi Jeremy. This is Stiletta, and I, I think uh, Fifi Nix has been replaced by King Rodiandra. Well, that's true. There we go. I don't like yes. how he's talking. It doesn't sound like it. 
No one's there yet. Oh, well, I mean, you know, like I'm wearing like a crazy king outfit. <laughs> Me on a cheap plastic. And, and a mouse. And a mouse. Are you still yes. wearing that? I'm a king a mouse. mouse. Yes, I am still wearing all of it. Crazy. Actually, can I take your red cloak? I usually have one, but... Oh, I'm sure it'll fit you just fine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. Um, Perfect. It looks like a napkin. I'm going to use another <laughs> twist of bread. Are you replacing it? Um, I'm just giving an additional one oh. to Kremi. <laughs> you must sing everything you speak. <laughs> um... Well, you know what? We gotta go. Oh, we go. We gotta get frost. What are we doing? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm what going to do? die someday. What, what are you doing? We're all going to die someday. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you singing everything? I need to change my fate, Lord okay? Rico. And Frosty can see into the future, I think. We gotta get dressed before Frost sees us. Why? It's guys not. I mean, but he doesn't really understand the context, and like, it's ironic to us, but I mean, is it really gonna be ironic to him? I think he won't understand that it's a joke. If he comes in and meteorites, it won't go well for him. Um, wait. Does Frosty know what irony is? I don't think he does. And I'll say your your singing can replace your heavy breathing. Thank you. To help your throat. (laughs) My throat hurts. (laughs) Oh. Oh. It did work. Frost explained what irony was when we had to go through the double gates. Oh, yeah. He knows what irony is. He knows what irony. He explained it before I did my great acting as Phil, the smartest pig in the world. I mean, there's a difference between understanding irony and really kind of getting guys and I. You know what I mean? I think Frosty would love guys and I. It's Kulbeck's last. Oh, it was his last. We hurrah. double crossed him. Did we really double cross him? We did what was necessary. Well, to reclaim Lord Frostington, which we have yet to do. As if you consider that we basically lied. Well, did we really lie to him? I mean, we just sort of deceived him. If there's a difference, we deceived him. I mean. Callback was kind of a bit of a cardboard pest. <laughs> Which is surprising. That's one way to put it. I would agree. Uh, is that, are we surprised, maybe? <laughs> what do we think, guys? <laughs> It's shocking! Come on, please help me. We're shocked, right? Uh, you mean, beautiful fool. We're shocked. shocked. I mean, he doesn't know who Torbeck is, and now I'm forced to sing everything. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll sing alone. Yeah, why don't we sing it too? Oh, you sound hideous, but you, <laughs> the voice hey, of an you, angel. You. My name is Grucco, and I'm here to say that you can hang with your friends in a responsible way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do my my rap, my nineties. P, not even PG, G-rated rap as we find our way to Frost. The melodious tune of a beautiful You angel. do make your way back to the big top. Um, you notice, <clears throat> I'll say you check just to see if you can uh, if you can find Laszlo Gr- Gr- Grigorovich, but you do not see her anywhere. It appears that she waited and eventually left when Torbeck didn't show up. Oh. Um, but you, so you do make your way into the big top extravaganza <clears throat> and through the through the exit into the stagehand area, it looks like you um, your presence was was known, and no one seems to stop you. And you make your way towards the costume closet, I guess, to change. That's where Crummy's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. He's and I'm finally back to get my coat, to get your uh, coat tail. Oh, and don't forget to get eight hours of sleep. You better stay hydrated. Don't be cheap. You can get Powerade to get electrolytes. Do your milk. 
orange juice slices, eat your drugs. <laughs> Don't do sleep. <laughs> Don't do sleep. That's right. Get eight hours of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> do eight hours yeah, of Do you drugs. remember YTMND? Hey, boomers. <laughs> hey, boomers. Get eight hours of drugs. Oh god, they're still here, and I opened the the the, the, the costume. Okay, yeah. What are we what are we dressing no, up for, you, guys? Now with Frosty, you, you make your way over towards the costume area, and you see that standing in front of it oh. is that same man that you saw that collected um, Torbeck. It is that bugbear in the clown outfit, and he's standing in front of the entrance with his arms crossed, looking frustrated. Hey! And as you walk up, he says, "Sorry." Oh. Closet's closed. That's you... not what I was expecting. You will be sorry, hideous clown. Don't even think about it. Think about A night of the Honktopia. <laughs> oh no, I think it's the foul Honk Knights. Uh, the Honk of the Knight. Honk of the Honk Legion. I've killed many of your kind, Honk Knight. You won't stand between us and wherever we're going. I think he just challenged you to a duel, my uh-huh. king. A duel! Lord, Lord, Lord Grico! By the gods. Disrobe me. What are you talking about? Oh. If the closet's closed until after the crowning of the witch like Mara. Nothing is closed to King Rodiandra. I'm oh, sorry, but Mr. Witch said the closet's closed, so... Well, your death oh, is swift. Oh, would you... Uh, you may say that to us... But would you say that to a very wise and powerful wizard if he was here? Hey, little sir! <laughs> That's just a hand puppet. What are you talking about? We're not, I'm, not, I'm not here. Hey, I'm a great powerful wizard. Uh, I woke up this morning with a sore throat. You ever, you ever, wonder, you ever wonder what the tax policy of, of the load of horses would be? <laughs> no. Well, so I have. What do? The name's Cramila Crew. <clears throat> Can I... I please get my ha- coat? <laughs> I told you the costume closet's closed. And I'm asking you to open it. No. <laughs> please, kind sir. I, I can't. really need it. I was told under no circumstances was I allowed to open it. Oh, God, my sore throat. Oh. I wish you could hear what I really sounded like. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Meteor Swarm if you don't move out of the way. <laughs> you are just a hand puppet with oh. no magical abilities. Are you, are you or sure about that? To the weave. I'm gonna cast Meteor and all the planets are gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna supernova. <laughs> Avengers are gonna eat up by the sun, which is the king of planets. <laughs> <laughs> So you better watch out there, Mr. Bugbear Man. I'm a mighty powerful wizard. You can call me Jiggly the Clown. Oh, Jiggly, get your devil no cue here. I, I, don't, I don't want you to get haunted by a guy named Jiggly. Jiggly, Jiggly the I Clown. Don't... I know it, a hunk night. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to know why they call him Jiggly. <laughs> First things first, <laughs> normally I would ask him to kill you, not really kill, but punch you, and given that you're dressed like a clown, I'm sure you I am a die. clown. Oh. Oh. oh, no. I knew it. Oh, Lord just... Grico, turn my flaming sword. I'm one of the newest clowns. I was re- I replaced the, the last guy that died. He was oh, killed by a well, flying meatball. Oh, klutzy. Your tenure yeah. will be short. Oh, it's, oh he was like... He was like real sick, right? Clatsy, like real <laughs> sick. Like he was on the way out, probably, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't the meatball that killed him, it was just like the meatball happened to be there when he just had a heart attack, right? I'm, I'm not sure we sent a message to his family. We're hoping his oh, wife and his know, kids will write probably, back and let us know. He's probably a loner and a drifter. No family, no nice Oh no, kin. he was a loving man. Oh. Being a clown was what he'd always wanted. Oh. He'd just gotten this gig too, he was so excited. Oh, well, better for him to die without having been a clown for too long <laughs> than to live with the horror. Ah, my liege, I will give you your flaming soul. Oh, I'm going yes. to give the wizard hand puppet. Oh, all right, so Jiggly the Clown. Don't you dare get, please. What? 
You're already haunted by enough clowns. Jiggly the clown stands between us and what we seek. And he will stand no longer. Why don't we just obey the rules for once? Uh. Oh! That's right, you might get taken <laughs> by a pig. Oh, uh, well. Or that horrible gross frog thing. Or the spooky moon lady. Uh. You kindly put your hands behind your back. <laughs> And not remove them. Make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The chat is like, the chat is bloodthirsty. They're trying to get you to kill this clown. Eleven. You fail. <laughs> <laughs> your hands are behind your back. He can still kick. Lord Cremington. What is the meaning of this, wait, wait, Lord Cremington? But you, you can't get closer to the clown. <laughs> and also your hands are behind your back. <clears throat> All right, kid. That's enough. Jiggly. Jiggly. Yeah. I would kill you if my hands weren't magically behind my back. <laughs> Come behind me. Come behind me so that I might lay you low. I'd suggest you what? not do that. Roll a persuasion oh. throw. I can't roll. My Mace hands are behind my back. Mace can. <laughs> Jiggly. I got it. He, fu- he sucks. He just sucks. No, my persuasion's very good. It's two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, I want to do that. Oh, of course no. you don't, you cowardly clown. Yes, you cowardly clown. Uh, what of it? What of the no great king, uh, Rodiandrus? Just there's no th at the end. Your flaming sword, Molly. Yes, it's behind me. That's I just want to fit wizard. in, so I'm singing and also indulging. Get in. I thought your flaming sword was in the front of you. Draco, please. <laughs> Stop <laughs> giving in to his delusions of grandeur. So you're holding a flaming sword behind you? I'm ho- well. Well, it is a in a matter of speaking, it's a wizard puppet. He can uh, use media sword. My metaphorical flaming sword. He's a ninth. Th- level spellcaster. Ninth level wizard spellcaster Gary the Great. Was it? I think it was Gerald or something. Gerald. Uh, you are having this conversation and you. I just rolled a natural 20. That's the only reason this is happening. Oh, come on, um, Jiggly! Good. You are in this conversation with Jiggly the Clown, and you there. there's commotion behind you. The staff area is a bustle with people getting ready for all sorts of things. You know that in the Big Top, there are uh, many acts that are happening all the time. It's not just the Big Top extravaganza. As you hear a yelp and a clatter, as... <clears throat> you turn to, well, some of you turn to look, you see that they were getting ready to take the clown car, the small clown car uh, into the tent to do their, one of their, um, one of their hourly acts. And one of the clowns, as he was trying to get out, tripped and fell directly into Gideon's sword, completely running him through. (laughs) My sword is a hand puppet. (laughs) It's fine. It's, it, the claws and killed him. Ah! <laughs> I told you I can't. Green flame, boy. <laughs> you stupid clown. It was a metaphor. He was he was incredibly old, and the moment he hit the ground, he was allergic to felt. He was he, allergic, he to, was felt. allergic to felt, and yeah. he hit the he hit the ground, and he dies. <gasps> and you hear Jiggly go, "Oh no, Bumbo the clown, <laughs> Bumbo." Oh, you are welcome. Yeah, what are and you doing? What? We are surrounded by enemies. Honk nights abound in every direction. All of the clowns begin to yell, and as they rush over to Bumbo the Clown, they realize that yet another clown has, has died this night. Uh, oh. You gotta kill the no, oh, no, oh, I can save him. Hold on, let me just see what's no, left of his I'm face. <laughs> You can see his, his skin is like bubbling from where the felt hit him. It was a really, really horrible. Lord Grigleton, your beauty should not look upon such a horrible visage. Turn oh. away, please. I, I was I was just joking about Medius <laughs> I think I think that's actually a wizard in the puppet day. <laughs> I, 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 hold on, I, 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 I can save him. Whole- <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least try, Grinko, please? 
Ugh. 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 And with that, <laughs> I'm going to use another twist of dread. Oh, and Gideon, the voice of the last person you killed, tells you things about their life no one wants to know. However, he's just recently dead, so the voice of Klutzy. Derek, can you be Klutzy for me? <laughs> oh, klutzy, 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 Klutzy. I'm so Klutzy today. I'm Klutzy, 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 Klutzy. I'm so Klutzy today. Oh, hi, Mr. Gideon. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Well, it's just so nice to be here in clown heaven. That's what <laughs> Chuckles told me all about it. I'm going to be spreading joy and laughter for days, years, the eternity. You're in hell, you despicable clown. Oh, you joker. I'm not in hell. No, stop talking to me. Fallen honk night with your allergy to the hobgoblin oysters. <laughs> horrible frame, you couldn't stand one single blow from 500 yards away and you died from allergy. I don't mind, I'm gonna be able to spread joy and laughter from heaven forever. No, you won't stop enjoying anything. It's gonna be just, oh, would you like a joke? I can make you laugh. Oh, oh God, there's nothing... Free my hands, Lord Crummington! Oh. I'm gonna kill him a second time! You're gonna kill the rest of the clowns if I do that game! <laughs> yes, yes, please! But then Clutzy won't be the last person I've killed! <laughs> It'll be Bumbo. And then you'll be haunted by four clowns. No, it's, I think it's in a line kind of thing. They line up to torment me for eternity. Just, just one at a time, maybe. Intimate. Oh! <laughs> hey, Chuckles, how you doing? It's great to be here. Oh, gosh. Golly gee. <clears throat> Are you sure you don't want to hear a joke? I can squeeze my nose. I can make it honk, and I can say, smell you later. <laughs> Chuckles. <laughs> Chuckles, honk night. I will figure out a way to get wine to hell if you kill Klutzy. <laughs> Turn upon your comrade. I knew you would miss me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Careful what you wish for. <laughs> It like starts to like down pitch. Oh, oh Chuckles, you're so silly. I'll go ahead and hug my nose now for you, Mr. Gideon. Uh. Oh! What? Why did this happen? Oh gosh, my nose is broken. This isn't happening at all. Chuckles lied to me. Mr. Gideon, I think I might not be in heaven after all. <laughs> I know what I'll do. If you still need a good laugh, I'll I'll do a pratfall. I, I can do that real good. It's a, a classic klutzy maneuver. We had a club, you know, classic klutzy club, but we had to shut it down because of reasons. <laughs> shut your mouth, Hunk Knight. I had my last good laugh when you did your normal fall. <laughs> after that... Fake uh, goblin, meatball. hobgoblin, meatball hit you, and you then you died. I <laughs> laughed like this. <laughs> well, let me see if I can make you laugh even harder when no, I slip on, when I slip on this banana peel. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> This one's not so bad. Can't wait for Bumbo. Hopefully he kills himself again. Oh! Oh, I 
Okay, you didn't see it. Okay, you didn't see it. I'll get up. I'll get up. I'll get up. It's gonna be all right. Oh, there's another banana peel. <laughs> My other leg. <laughs> You better hope you don't see him down here. We don't even have any wine. <laughs> There's no wine. How am I gonna kill the pain of my legs? <sighs> and that happens. <laughs> Kid, uh, I have to have a serious conversation with you. It's Lord Roriandra. Lord At Grickleton. What point do you want me to put you out of your misery? Derek. Just perfect. Thank knock you. me out. Thank you. I'm haunted by horrible honk nights. <laughs> Bumbo hasn't shown up yet, but I know he's still dying. <laughs> making his way to... He is still soon. slowly dying. I'm like... <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. No, I think this rib... Uh, his face... His teeth kind of go, hold on, hold on. How did that even happen? Pavina will try, but oh. when he came in contact with my horrible felt wizard, oh. you can see how weak he was. And his face is boiled and his teeth had fallen from the, oh. from his face. <laughs> right out, right out of his mouth oh, onto the ground. Gerald the Good was quite, he was quite a powerful <laughs> wizard. Yes. You watch as the uh, the small uh, pixie acrobats and contortionists make their way out to the um, to the big top to replace what was going to be the uh, the clown car uh, performance. As the clowns rush to um, try to save Bumbo, it's very clear that he is not going going to survive this, and they all realize it as they slowly rush him to, or as they quickly rush him to the um, the candy striper pixies. Um, but it it looks grim. You never even save assume, him, don't even try. I assumed that they were gonna take him to the clown car, but it's not like a hearse because of the tiny car. It's <laughs> yeah. like stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then pushing it. Uh-huh. And then open a piece of luggage and like shove him in there. <laughs> it was in like a, a suitcase. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Yeah, Rich, you better start thinking about what your clown voice I'm is gonna be. I'm covered in blood and clown guts. You know, I've, I've never, you could have given me, a, you could have given me one million guesses about what death like by a puppet looks like, <laughs> and I never. I misunderstood. I thought it was a blade. I never, I, I never would have guessed. I this is better. This is better. I never would have. Uh, uh, I, mean, I think it's a curse. Uh, I don't know what to do. And I really wish I didn't have to sing everything. Oh, <laughs> neither do I. May I say, the red is your color. Oh no, blue is my color. It's my favorite color. Cause you know, it's the best flavor of all the candy that you get. It's like, oh, what's this? Oh, it tastes, oh, it's a blue piece. What is it flavored? Well, it's flavored like blue, right? Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> Hold on. Martha Luna has a good point. The order of murder weapons is fist, meatball, hand puppet. Uh, 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 <laughs> that's a pretty mm-hmm, good mm-hmm. spread. <clears throat> I'm covered in gore. <laughs> I think there's a clown gizzard under my armpit. <laughs> and yes, they are still in their, uh, in their drag outfits. Now covered in gore. Uh, oh. In speaking of the horrible murder, Jiggly, I wonder if he assisted with the disposing of old Bombo. <clears throat> uh, I look to see if Jiggly is there. You look and you see that Jiggly is not there. The door is still closed, but oh, Jiggly is not there. How about that? Nice distraction, Gideon. A nice. little macabre, if you ask me. Well, it's exactly what they deserve. So, is it macabre? Maka, yay, let's go. <laughs> I just... Wardrobe change! Wanna change? I mean, I'm covered in bl- on real blood. Crummy's covered in fake blood. But you still look fantastic. 
<laughs> but it's guys night. We got to get changed because because us we all kind of <clears throat> smell like Torbeck a little bit, a lot of it, frankly. We all kind of stink like uh, Torbeck. You know. I can help with that. Can, if you need. Stink like Torbeck. If you need a hand, I can snap my fingers and make you smell a little less like piss. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get us some new, a change. I'll, I'll find something that fits all of us. No, he's blocking the way. No, he's, no, he's gone. Jiggly is gone. Oh, Jiggly helped dispose of the corpse of uh, Bumbo. Bumbo. They get weaker and weaker every time. <laughs> I can't keep them all straight. I feel like yeah, these these clowns are just begging to die. <clears throat> yes, well. Well, at least there's only five more of them, <clears throat> right? Is that what you said? Uh, <laughs> there was a great prophecy on my oh, kingdom. I have a great prophecy too. My oh. my future heir, uh, uh, Glorbo II, will slay me in my sleep. Glorbo II, Grim Grim. Do you sleep on your stomach, Pervina? Oh, I do, yes, of course. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, the prophecy was used to stab you in the back. <clears throat> oh, if I learn to sleep on my back, <laughs> my future troubling heir cannot get to jump on me. Uh, you just have to check under the bed every night and ensure he doesn't stab you up through the mat. Perhaps to avoid my fate, I should not fuck a troll. But even though I'm not under any fae magic, I kind of want to now. <laughs> The theory has been locked in your mind. I know what that feels it's like. It's in the vault now. <laughs> Once you consider it. Mm. Hold it's on. Forbidden. The it's the forbidden <laughs> fruit. Jazer Red says, can we have a one shot where everyone plays a clown that Gideon kills? We can call it Hunk Legion, <laughs> Rise from Avernus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're already we, like we actually have, we're talking about something like that. So get out of yeah. our heads. Get out of our yeah, planner heads. Get out of our heads. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, can I get out of this dress? Yeah, okay, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna uh, go. So you're gonna go up to the door? Yeah. It's locked. <laughs> get how, how sturdy the room. Use your face. <clears throat> my face? I'll yes. lock my hands and I'll use my flaming sword, Wizardton <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> Wizard killer of clowns. Wizard and Gerald has felled many a foe in just the last ten seconds. This door stands no chance. If you can do that with your hands behind your back, I'm worried about what you do to the rest of the clowns if I let you go. Are they still here? No, they're gone. They're uh, with the, pix the cowards. Cowards. Never pixies. Somebody! I'm like standing behind it. Somebody give me a toothpick. I got some sinew in my molars. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Um. Alright. Uh. I bash the door in with my head. Okay, roll to attack. <laughs> Twelve to hit the door with my head? Yeah, that hits. Uh -huh. roll, roll damage. Okay, okay. You're rolling damage for yourself. Because it's your fucking head. <laughs> Nine? You do nine points of damage to the door and it does splinter oh. down the middle. You'll take five points of damage oh. uh, as you crack part of your, uh, as you split part of the skin on your forehead. Um, and you're right above your eyebrow, you're bleeding oh and uh, you, have a, <laughs> you have a really bad splinter. <laughs> oh God, kid. I kind of feel bad about this, but do it again. Oh yes, <laughs> that was my idea as well. <laughs> I hit it again. Roll to attack it. Alright, I will. 17 to hit. Yes, you are able Not to hit the close. door. It absolutely, it splits in two as you take six more points of damage. <laughs> as uh, your eye swells up and it uh, it gets that bloody film that happens when you push too hard on your eyeball. Uh, it's pretty gross and nasty. You have a, sp <laughs> you have a splinter there too. Uh, 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 uh. Pavina, yes. <laughs> you're, yeah, you got something. Yes, what? Got a little something. Are you looking at this robe, man? Um, I'm looking at your face. Yes, I don't blame you. Yeah, it's got a little. Let me just. Let me do a little bit of my magic. And I just rub bananas on your face, <laughs> like mashed up bananas. <laughs> and you'll heal for 10 points of. <laughs> 
Ugh. You'll get 10 points if you like. Do you have any way of, any other way to do that? Yeah, since the barrel. <laughs> any other the way to do that? <laughs> well, I'll, well I, can, I can do other ways, but this just allows me to, if I feel a little peckish and I want a banana. And if Bavina, you feel a please, peckish, your banana I can be face. very thorough about it and meticulous. Yes. <laughs> meticulous. Quite nice. I can be quite meticulous. Quite nice. Okay, well done, Gideon. I'm sure that we won't be visited by Ms. Pig. Uh, when we peel for this uh, costume <laughs> closet. Oh, well, we're just getting our own clothes back. Oh, so our clothes are missing. Oh, I mean, what? Our clothes are missing. And it's as oh. you say this that you watch as uh, three people walk out of the, the costume closet. Um, they just kind of step over the rubble. They look at you bleeding and tied up. They look confused and they are wearing your clothes. <laughs> As they walk past you and head towards the, uh, hey! the top. The goal. Hey! I, I, I wait, you! They they don't stop and they just make their they're clear. You're dressed running. very nicely. They they're you running very late as they zip right into the big top. Give the fuck back here, please! <laughs> I need that coat. Frost can't seem like this. Well, we got clown guts all over it, and it's God's not. So, gals, we need to change. <laughs> Taxi Dermy needs a retirement party. Roll a d100. What did the banana? What did you rubbing the banana on my face? Ten do? points of healing. Oh. Oh. oh, d100. I rolled a fucking d20. Sixty-seven. You find, you find essentially a Monopoly Man outfit. It's got a top hat and a, and a monocle for those who are on a different timeline when the Monopoly Man had a monocle and a cane, a nice pair of shoes, some slacks and a, and a waistcoat, as well as a little plastic pocket watch. Hey, look at me. What to do, what to do, everybody. <laughs> Give me those fucking clothes. <laughs> no, it's all. <laughs> it's this goblin. was made for a gnome or a goblin. Yeah, it's gnome this or goblin sized. You. Look at me, what a do. Let me try. I am sorry. Finders keepers. All right. You don't pass go. I'll take what's left. <laughs> oh, how do I look? 92. Hello, blue. You're quite dashing. Oh, oh look at the time. You, Time to die. You, <laughs> you find the outfit of a very tall, ornate dwarf. Beard and metal helmet with, uh, like your your classic Halloween dwarf, with the uh, with the horn hat. And it's a, it's clearly a yarn beard. Ah. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, Trevi, I didn't know you were an actor. Do you like uh. the accent? You can oh. lead my armies. You look ready for battle. Why are you talking like that, though? You sound weird. That's bad. Woman accent. Do you like it? Ah, I guess. Oh, now I, I hear. I never knew. Now I hear. When you say those words, I get ah. it immediately. I yes. did a little bit of, you know, stage theater on the riverboat, you know. Oh, ah. I mean, I, I fucking sang that. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Well, uh, 49. 49. What to do, what to do, what to do. It's me, Grammy. Would everyone, anyone like to spend four hours playing the worst board game known to man? <laughs> Only if we play better. <laughs> you, oh, Monopoly? You find the costume of a wooden nutcracker, but the costume's built as if they had confused Christmas and Halloween oh. because it is a nutcracker doulahan, which is like a headless horseman. So you're holding the nutcracker head in your arm. You understand what I'm saying? That's a nightmare. I know. Uh, so I look at the so, headless So you're, you're, you're a headless nutcracker. You well, found. So the costume sits where the shoulders and the uh, head are right here, and it's got a nutcracker head. There's like a little rectangular, rectangular yeah. thing so in the. Gideon, you look uh, quite nice. <laughs> Lord Rodeandra! I mean, King Rodeandra! You look quite regal. Oh, I'll find yes. something for Frosty. I know what he likes. I'm gonna go find some Derek, caffeine. roll for yourself. I, I know exact. I know, I know his measurements. Uh, 33. 
2433. <laughs> you find the costume of a glass vial filled with nail clippings. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> Oh, I was going to be a drag queen? <laughs> Frosty's going to love it! Frosty's going to love it! Oh! Oh, it's gone! Frosty's going to be so excited when he learns that we already did all the games, all of the attractions, and we had a wonderful guys night with and he didn't have to suffer through it. He's going to yeah. be you know so what? excited. He loves timeliness. I, I could change it if you want. There's another one that's as long a similar vein. Of nail clippings? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to move away from the nail clippings. <laughs> How about a different thing? <laughs> you could be a sexy sprite inside of a clear glass bottle. So now we're talking. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. That you can be that instead then. So that you can live your drag queen <laughs> dreams. Thank you. You're hey! Welcome. Listen! <laughs> it's perfect! That's pretty funny. Gotta get it out. Oh! And I just swipe it in the air and suddenly it just fucking disappears. <laughs> Flossie's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> and I, we, we speed run to Frost because we gotta get on this fucking heist. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I, I, we, we, we Dark Souls roll the entire way there. And you do. You make your way out of the costume closet. You have procured a costume for Frost. Um, and you are making your way. Um, and, and for the sake of it, all of your costumes are a little bit sexy. So the, oh. the difference with your costume is from the front it looks great, but these pants are assless. So as you turn around, you see these two, and they've got they've got clear vinyl, so you better not fart. Because it'll fog up. It'll fog up. Yes. <laughs> it'll fog up. Away, please. <laughs> That's uh, foggy. That's so not don't. feel as people Monopoly, man. I watch the show <laughs> every <laughs> night. Instead of a, yeah. a gray mustache, it's just a handlebar. <laughs> is, it, is it gray <laughs> handlebar? <laughs> no. I'll, I'll take the mustache, I'll pull up. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why is this making my nose tickle? Wow. Wow. How do I, how do I turn this up? <laughs> <laughs> I sneeze as I, uh, as I speed run Ocarina of Time through the... Uh... Uh, the dwarf outfit has no shirt, but it does have little nipple clamps. Um, nah. Are they connected what? by a chain? What? Yeah, of course. <laughs> what? We out and like and the they, they look like oh, they, uh, no, they look like hammers. Like like op, you know, like the opera conical like breastplate. You could, but that's not what I decided. You got hammer nipple clips, and you'll like it. Clips. Okay, fine. You have you have like the Madonna boobs made out of metal. Yeah. yeah. Um, but inside of them are nipple clamps that connect with a chain. <laughs> That's the only I'll way they stay optional. on. They're strapless. It only stays on by clipping. It only yeah. stays on by clipping. I'm, I'm a reptile. <laughs> <laughs> it's clipping something. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, you've seen. You've, you've been to Skyrim, you've seen some lizards with big old honkers, right? <laughs> In what? Skyrim 2. Oh, Skyrim. Yeah. Skyrim. Skyrim. Skyrim? Oh, Gideon, you're awake. And then Gideon's what? outfit is actually just fine, because I can't think of a way to sexualize a nutcracker. You can't. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> of all the costumes, that's the one you can't figure out how to sexualize? Uh, yes, my costume no, is not you, sexy no, at all. No, no, you literally have it. No, where it's, 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 it's a giant fucking chestnut on his crotch, and you put the head, and you just walk around with the head hanging that way. <laughs> also, no arms. I think just uh, full, full naked arms. I yeah. think. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm not holding it. It's on my flaming sword. <laughs> hey. My other flaming sword. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have two roasted chestnuts hanging from the front of you. I've seen horrors beyond mortal comprehension. <laughs> Let's look for Taffy, please. Oh, oh. Fairy Taffy. Oh. oh, did you say you wanted some Taffy? Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Oh, sure. And she passes out Taffy to each of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do I really gotta wear this? Ugh, it's a little, a little snug. <clears throat> and I thought my last costume was revealing. How do I look? 
What do you think, kid? Well, you, are we cured? You look, are we cured? You're, yeah. you're cured of your face. Yeah, you look. Curses, yeah. You, you look well, like a. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 okay, what? concentrate with this. Did I, did I kill another clown? Yeah, you did, kid. Yeah. Oh, and I, fuck. I tried to stop you. What I'm trying to say is that you have a terrible curse that's following you, uh, I guess, presumably until death. Well, why the hell are all these damn clowns so fucking allergic to just normal stuff? Oh, could I have my puppet back? Yeah, here. T- now I think we burned the puppet. Maybe the puppet. Have you had? Have you always had the puppet? I think I won it at a carnival game. <gasps> oh. Do you think? Do you think, Lord Gerald the Good, is cursed to kill clowns? Well, no, he killed clown. He killed like two clowns before he got that thing. Yeah, but to be fair, that one just like fell on the puppet and died immediately. That's what I'm saying. The curse is you, kid. I didn't even touch him. I mean, my hand was covered in the puppet. That exactly my point. The curse to kill clowns. But I, but he didn't come into contact with me. His face exploded. He looked like pizza in the oven. He was bubbling. <laughs> Greco couldn't help him by rubbing bananas all over his face, but I think he tried. The well, you was realize hand. that oh, the dude. killing blow was when he hit. You stepped backwards with your high heels and you pierced right into his eyeball. Mm. Oh well, actually, it might have been not the puppet at all. But that time, I pierced him straight through the brain with my <laughs> high heels. It could have been that, oh. uh, fellas, <laughs> fellas. Oh. oh, I don't think this one's manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think that's still accidental if you stepped on his face accidentally. That's still manslaughter. <laughs> and especially if it's like a stylish, charming peacock car heel, you know? Yeah, I mean, I thought he wanted it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. His face was basically melted. I think it was a bad case of felt burn, you know? He just sort of slid against the puppet. I think that he cast Meteor Swarm. I still think, I think that Ge- uh, <laughs> Lord Gerald the Good is evil. Look, I'm gonna look into some space. And you say yeah. all of this as you're making your way towards the carriage where you know that Frost is waiting. Um, and you notice that as you get there, the the carriage is just shaking violently as it's rocking <laughs> back and forth. Bam, 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 bam. Inside, you and Mr. Light have had an hour to have a really nice conversation. You've played some, um, he pulled out a, uh, a book of cr- crossword puzzles and oh. you did those together. You had more cake against your better judgment. You wanna jump on the bed? Um, <laughs> I and love then um, he, wa- he wanted to see how you would react to uh, this cool magical contraption that he had, that him and Mr. Light Light had created mm-hmm. as he waves a laser around the um, oh wow a- around the uh, <laughs> the carriage and you chase it rocking the carriage back and forth <laughs> as you're trying to catch the laser. This is surprisingly realistic. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what's happening on the inside of the carriage. And you walk up to it and you you hear the sounds of huffing and puffing uh, as the carriage rocks back and forth. Oh, jeez. Well, he looks like he's having a good time. You think he's getting roughed up in there? <laughs> yeah. For what it did? Yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, uh, you think Mr. Light's taking care of it himself? Doesn't seem like the type to get his hands dirty unless it's for a good reason. Well, hold on. Let me take a listen. What are the noises that he hears? <laughs> <laughs> move, move, move it slower, Mr. Light. I, 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 I want to try to catch it. <laughs> It doesn't well, sound like he's in pain. If that's what you if that's what you want, Frost, I'll move it as slow as you like. It's a remarkable thing. Let's make it a little bit faster. Hmm. Yeah. The slowness is making me tired. I want it faster. Uh, the, the, move it as fast as you can. I'm going to go as fast as I can. All the way, all the way around. <laughs> they have no their own guys not in there. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> How I do a uh, Lenny and Squee from Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, you are not able to open the door. Hello! Oh, fuck! <laughs> you you feel oh. a, a bump on the oh. on the trailer on the wagon ah. as uh, Gricko slams into it, but this magically locked door mm. is ah. not just open for anyone. Um, and you are rocked uh. to one side. Uh, Mr. Light looks at you and says, um, "Well, Frost, it looks like our time together." has come to its end. It seems like your band of merry gentlemen is outside waiting for you. Thank you for having me. It's been a lovely evening spending time with you. I hope we shall do it again. I I would like that. You remember our deal. 
you come back with the Kenku and you can have all the answers you're looking for. But he looks at a watch on his hand. Mm. It must happen before the crowning of the Witchlight Monarch. The moment after, the carnival will close. <laughs> I appreciate your guidance. Thank you. Uh, this has been a most enlightening evening. I'll unlock the door for you and you may away. You know where to find me when you've captured the fiend. <clears throat> yes, here. Yes, good sir, yes. Very good. Um, he I... squeezes your thigh. It's been oh, a uh, lovely, lovely time. Yes, indeed. And I turn and I open the door oh, and make my you... way out. Before you... I unlock the door. Uh... <laughs> That's not how you do it. You gotta put the weight in your shoulders. Uh, uh. I'd like to slam my head in the door after Gricko charges in. Roll an attack. <coughs> hey, guys, knife. Uh, roll a two, seven to hit the door. Okay, you hit the door, taking 18 points of damage as you slam your head into an absolutely unmoving door. Uh. You you hear the crack, all of you hear it, as Gideon's nose breaks and blood begins to spill out. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 hey, Thanos, I think he's got a, yeah, I think it's one of those pull open doors, not push in doors. Oh, oh turn the handle and try well, to pull it outwards. Fuck, what is that made of? Yeah, you turn the handle and try and pull it outwards and um and it is at this moment that Frost opens the door and falls out at you. It was my he is pleasure, sweaty, Mr. Light. huffing oh. and puffing from all of the running you did. Is he covered in cream? Oh, he's he's got uh, he's got bits of frosting yeah, stuck yeah. in his fur. Um, it's it's a nice white uh, frosting that's clearly dried into the fur around his mouth. And I look at each of you. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, what to do? Oh, hey, bro. How was it? That was your guys' day. You know what I mean? Guys, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you want to be a sexy fairy? In a jar? Look, just just, just do it, all right? Yeah, I thought you guys were just waiting outside here. It's 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 a carnival thing. Oh, right? no, we had a whole adventure. We finished all... You had a whole adventure? Yeah, we platinumed the whole carnival. We yeah, did all the games. The whole carnival without me? It's been like ten hours. It's only been an hour. It's only been an hour. No, no, no Mr. 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 Witch, uh, he he like to slow down time for us. Is what Greco's trying to say. Anyway, put the fucking outfit outfit on, right? What did I miss? Uh, I mean, I will, but <laughs> what did I miss? Oh, we just need uh, to play some games. Uh, yeah. So, talk so, toys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we, uh, oh, yeah, you got some sweets in there? No way, you got yes. any cakes there, in there? There were tarts and cakes, yes. Oh, very oh, nice. nice. food left, you got yeah. it all up, you hungry beast. Uh, I didn't think I was still hungry after all the cake that you and I competed against, but uh, uh, these, something about this place is very magical. You come to find there's always room for cake. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, well, yeah. So they got Boston cream in there at the very least. So, so you, um, you went in and you're like, oh, this will be fine. This is the bugbear. I'm sure he wants to talk about it. And so then you went in there. Right, well, and hold, then, hold, and hold then, on, hold on. Why do you smell like piss and bacon grease? <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna. I'll get to that. <laughs> do I want to know? It's guys' night. It was guys' night. Okay. I mean, just the, us three fellas. It was guys now. And Torbeck. Oh, yeah. What? And, no, and Torbeck. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what that smell looks like. And Torbeck, and he ha he was sitting next to them. We were like, oh, hey, who? And Torbeck, we were like, who? I don't know. It was like Torbeck. About. And I said, oh, is that Torbeck? And Kramer is like, who? Oh, and I'm like, hey, wasn't he the, the, the read game operator and also climbed the Harris wheel? And Kramer was like, oh, yeah, he never came and rioted when all of them was trying to run us out of town. <laughs> and we were like, yeah. And we said, hey, Torbeck. And he said, uh, my favorite co-workers. Mm -hmm. It's like so a... great to see you. I get the piss smell. I'm here for a job. And we're like, on the last night, four hours in, and he said, mm -hmm. and I go on like this for a <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We're just standing there. Yeah, we don't move. Go oh, to the snail races. I don't have a calendar. You went to the gnome poetry job. Uh, no, I will get to that, Frosty. I'll get to that. <laughs> and also, oh, you should have, you should have Clementine. Remember his girlfriend, who's not cardboard. 
You know, I don't think he actually smelled like piss. That's just his natural smell. It's really remarkable. Well, why does he smell like goblin piss, not bugbear piss? That's it's, what it's I his know. natural smell. Well, he's a goblinoid. And he wouldn't remember Clementine. He kidnapped Clementine when he got here. Well, that comes later. That came later. Oh, well, you just... You didn't spoil the whole story! Well, I... You know, I was gonna know that we were basically kind of just being a bunch of uh, of thugs for Mr. Mr. Witch. It's and not about the destination, Greco. It's about the ride. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make it a nice epic st tale for Frosty so he doesn't feel left out. We did all those games. We also, I have this puppet that's covered in clown gore. Gideon accidentally killed another clown. Yeah, uh, that's number uh, three. Uh, uh, oh, number three. Yeah, yeah. 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 We gotta run and count. We gotta set the Tullbeck, back to zero. Tolbeck almost fucked a pixie, uh -huh. an eladrin, uh -huh. a cyclops. Uh -huh. I won the race. I tried to. Uh, I almost fucked a troll. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, you had the opportunity. You declined. Oh, she wasn't looking for anything. She wasn't trying to sire an heir. She wasn't. Tr she wasn't trying to be the queen of Goblintopia. She was just trying to use me for my money. Mm -hmm. Maybe she just knew Goblintopia didn't exist. How dare you? <laughs> Guys, what the fuck? <laughs> I leave for just a, a, a brief moment, and you do thug craft for Mr. Us. Witch? You were fucking wearing. I, I, I feel like we were almost compelled to, to, for all this to happen. Well, I will put on this outfit. Is there a place to change, or should I pop back into Mr. Uh, Light's uh, wagon, so to speak? <laughs> you just do it right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I make myself into a uh, sprightly figure. Yes, uh, Mr. Frost is become no morning frost. You essentially look like a, a Tinker Bell. Yeah. in a jar, but a glowing Tinker Bell in a jar. So the jar is like <coughs> hanging off my shoulders, yeah. and like like oh, I feel like I'm almost like a like a drag queen. <laughs> Mr. Frost has become Mrs. Light. <laughs> <laughs> what should my drag queen name be? What? Hmm? What's a drag queen? Is it... Uh, I, I, I just mentioned that I feel Why like... Why are you pointing at me? Yeah, what are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Having like a, a, a fun, ironic, feminine persona on God's Night of All Things, Frosty, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I can read It's very unbecoming. I am capable. Get out of there, Frosty! <laughs> I've seen everything. Oh. I've seen it all. Oh. I think we've already kind of done that for like the last eight hours. I mean, to us, it feels yeah, like... Yeah, it's, oh, it's old so hat it's at this kinda, point. Yeah. yeah, no, you were kind of... I was going to solicit some ideas from you, but if you want to skip it, then it's fine. I mean, I'm a dwarf, though. See my hat? Mm -hmm. Do you have I, a name? Do you have a name? Uh, I mean... Should I just call you Kremmy, or do you have... Like Angus. Oh! That's, that's a pretty good dwarf name. Angus. Oh, Angus, uh... Like Angus? Stout. Stout. Stout beard. Angus Stout Beard. Did it come with a beard? Am I wearing a false beard? A yarn beard, yeah. Oh, that's right, the yarn beard. <laughs> the end of your crop. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the, yeah. Or maybe all, all the way around. around. <laughs> yeah, all the way around. <laughs> Angus Stout Beard. Famous dwarf of, um, uh, uh, Dwarftopia. Dwarflantopia. <laughs> Dwarftopia. You're not very creative, are you? Dwarftopia. What about, like, the, the Highland? Oh. Dwarfdom. Oh. Or like, I mean, I don't know, some other, uh, some anything else besides Topia. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of like Dwarftopia, Dwarflintopia. Mm, yeah, me too. Dwarftopia, I like it. <laughs> We're gonna stick with that. Don't try to workshop it. <laughs> anyway, what did you learn? <clears throat> did, did, I mean, you spent like eight What's hours with that guy. What's your drag queen? Oh, um, <clears throat> uh, I have uh, uh, off the top of my head, I have. Uh, uh, perhaps eight names I could think of. Would it be relevant to your improvised costume? Or even it... new and keep it moving. Well, I, you, you tell me what you think is uh, most appropriate. Why can't I find it now that I... Uh... Ah, oh, yes. Uh, uh, you could call me Hissy Fit. Huh? No, no, no. No. Uh, 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 litter box. No. You're not dressed like a cat. After what you did in there. Uh, uh, Katia. <laughs> Uh, you're you're not just like a cat. Uh, it should be Frost. It's, it's supposed to be connected to the theme. Maybe we should call you Twinkle Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't need that one. I'm impressed. You know, I, I was gonna go with Rue Paw, but actually, I think. <laughs> I actually think that's better. Yeah. Twinker so Twinker Bell is Twinker Bell. Twinker Bell is perfect. Uh, Twinker Bell fits you like a glove. 
<laughs> Thank you. Also, look at how nice and shapely my legs look. Freak on my fucking legs. <laughs> Twinker Bell is perfect. Oh my god. If there is not a drag queen named Twinker Bell, there there's be. something there wrong with be. this world. I guarantee, I guarantee. Oh my god. Okay. Now, now that we've gotten past that milestone, oh. it's an important hurdle to jump. Uh, yes, um, we uh, enjoyed most of the hour in deep conversation, and we enjoyed uh, some puzzles. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Very important. Uh, he's solicited us to see if we can uh, hunt down the uh, Kenku. Oh, the did you say the thing? What's that? Frosty, you didn't say the thing. What thing is that? Well, you said you're going to be saying Kenku. <laughs> No, I, well, why would I say it like that? Because that's the coolest thing that anyone's ever said. Well, you just said it. He would have been so impressed with you. Well, we'll save it. Save what it a waste of... Well, well, yeah, well, now we well, have to save it. Kill the Kanku. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll punch him, but he'll die. And and then you say, Kanku, more like, can't you're dead. <laughs> oh, you're talking about yeah. Yeah. You will die. Can't. Well, there was, yeah. a, there was a moment yeah. towards the end where I said, uh, thank you, Mr. Light, this has been most enlightening. Huh? <laughs> Welcome back, Frost. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. It Welcome back. Twink I mean, Twinkabell. Thank you. Twist uh, that, that, that's uh, uh, Greco, I guess. It's just. Did, did he give you any leads on where this Kenku might be and why they're being a terrorist? Uh, a political agent. Political enemy. Yeah. Uh, apparently, he's been uh, trying to shut down the carnival through his mischief. So that he could ask them well, some. I think it's a, uh, it's a, it's a she, right? It's, it's, Apparently, it's they have, they have been uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, been uh, trying to stop the carnival for this purpose, and uh, he didn't go into too much detail about the uh, <coughs> nature of what the Genku is after. And perhaps we can talk to them when we see them. But uh, we will be gifted much knowledge. He will answer any questions that we might have about the carnival, or perhaps Galbina, if we. Bring the Kenku to them and allow them to deliver justice. Do you get the kind of sense of how easily parted he might be from oh. that weather vane? Oh. Do you want to steal the weather vane? I don't steal it, I just mean, you know. Let's we would never it. steal anything, that's rule number one. No gives these back Let's say we would have found it. Or he would just uh, give it away, or trade for it, or play you, a game for you it. You immediately hear a <clears throat> coming from the side of the trailer, and you notice that Burly the bugbear has been standing there all along with his arms crossed. He looks out at you and he says, um, You thinking about stealing that weather vane, huh? I squint my eyes at him. Are you thinking about stealing that weather vane? Not me. You know what it can do? I know what it can do. What can it do? Mr. Lane also told me what it can do, and I'd be happy to share it with you. Um, but uh, we need to go back and do all the things that you guys did again. I, I, I want to go on all the rides. I want to go to the... To the, the the slam poetry game, I want to Man. enjoy the snail racing. I want mm -hmm. to uh, uh, look at look on the map. There's there's a million and one. We already that... we already did all that. For yeah, no, it's all done. No, we're fucking going. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys go. I'm gonna have a conversation with Bungo here, and we're gonna figure out. The name's Burley. Burley, that's oh, right. Oh, Burley. <laughs> How's our friend Toolback doing? Is he still among the living? Who? Toolbeck. He's a big uh, bugbear fella. Never heard Smells. of him. Smells. He wore a can of beans hey, on his. Really? You never heard of him? No, no, you were right next Pringle, to him. Pringle, you were right. He was. What? He was right it's, there. It's he not dragged not away. About Toolbeck anymore. And then he said, Oh, my name is Toolbeck. You're taking Toolbeck away. How could you know the his name? Yeah. What? No, when, when you take him, when you retire him, you, you just kind of, you know, who? Tobit retired? Well, Look, we know one of the rules of the carnival is not stealing, right? We know what happens to people who steal, and we know that Tobit stole, isn't that right? 
Stole quite a bit. Stole funds multiple times for work committed. He was once. a bit of a cardboard pest, I will say. So yeah. he's hanging out with Hootsie with the sow pig. Oh, by the way, Grigo's forgotten who Hootsie is. Who? So we'll figure that out. Oh wow. Hootsie, yeah, more like Hootsie. That's a deep cut. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> Would you believe me, Grico, if I told you that there was someone who you loved very much named Hootsie? That's preposterous, Frosty. Okay. I've never met I've never met a Hootsie in my entire life. That's deep magic. I would just say you'd say, oh hey, it's Hootsie, I'll say who? That's who? Like, this is actually quite heartbreaking. Hootsie? Um, oh, by the way, I came up with my name. Oh yes. My name is Grunkle Electrum Banks. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> you have to call me that now. Grunkle? Grunkle Electro. Yeah, yeah, if you're, you, you, this is kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird? <laughs> Why would it do that? Let me see if there's uh, some sort of mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> Cat. Maybe that's what it's supposed to do. I don't. I don't really get it. Why, is the, why is the surface of that so tacky? <laughs> you don't know. It was, I, I don't think it was washed. It kind of smelled. Mm -hmm. Kind of smelled off. A little torbicky. No. 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 More like a can of Alba Cortina. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. I was thinking of a joke and I was, and I stopped my I stopped myself and Nikki just decided to go there. I had the self-control to not make a surf into a joke, okay? Breeze over there. <laughs> Get out poor Gina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, and what haven't you done? Are, uh, have you done every ride? Have no, I missed out on the whole car? We got nothing done. It was like eight hours and we got nothing fucking no, done. We, yeah, all we did was ride all the uh, rides and play all the carnival games. I we got nothing done. Yeah. No, we did all the games yeah. and we did the snail races. I think that's all you missed we out did on. the snail races and yeah, and the games, but we didn't do Pixie Kingdom. We didn't do the mystery. Oh, we didn't no, do the we did Pixie Kingdom. Kingdom. That's oh. where Torbeck rode the, you know, yeah, but we didn't do we didn't do the yeah, you you we know that the with. you know that the Ferris wheel was outside of Pixie Kingdom. You've never oh. actually gone into Pixie Kingdom. Oh. Oh. We haven't done Pixie Kingdom. Is the point? I mean, we were sort of around it, and we did all the games around it. But oh. Torbeck did Pixie Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that guy fucks. Let's be honest. <laughs> he wishes. Yeah, it was such a grotesque creature. No, I mean, he really cleaned up. I mean, I just you know, quite do it. Yeah, quite. I guess if I don't he. Know. It, it, it's quite impressive, frankly. Mm. Maybe it's like he's—it's like he's so repulsive that it kind of comes back around <laughs> yes. and hey, becomes suddenly yourself. like attractive. It's like a flat circle. Yeah, 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 anything yeah, yeah. in its extreme becomes its opposite. So uh, <laughs> the, the piss smell must be like a uh, Dior or something. <laughs> Do what? Salvage. Dior. Uh -huh. There was, like that general, there was that gentleman uh, Dior who would sell uh, cologne on the street corner. Do you, you don't remember that? Where? In Agua. In Agua? Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the guy's like, oh, soap with a prize inside? It's cologne. It's just a little. It's literally like pig fat. <laughs> That's exactly how he sounded. Oh. He got it exactly right. Oh. He's called it. That's his name was Dior. I think that was his last name. It was on the sign. Oh. I hope he's doing all right. In Torbeck, the pig, pig fat guy. Dior. Oh, Dior. <laughs> That's the shit about Dior. Did. <laughs> what happened to Torbeck? And we <laughs> yeah. So you're just gonna leave Burley there? No, well, no, no. If you guys want to go, oh, I'm right, gonna talk Burley. to him. Oh no, we can wait. We can wait. Oh, so anyway, uh, there was a great Ferris wheel, and then Gideon could hear through the veil. Where can we speak privately? We can speak right here. Right here. Can't go anywhere. You think they can hear us out here? They're not listening to us right now. I was not being bad for a second, but... No one would know better than I would. Insist. What's your proposition, Fran? Bad things have been happening at the carnival for a while. People and things have been going missing. And bosses know more than they're telling. But their hands are tied somehow, I'm not quite sure why. 
You're the first people I've met who might be able to set things right. Shocking, I know. Witch and Light are good guys. But you'll need leverage to make them spill all of the beans. What do you mean? Are they being blackmailed? Oh, I knew it. Not quite sure. But something's happening and they're not willing to tell. I can hear them in there arguing about it sometimes. I don't think bringing the Kenku to justice is going to be enough. They'll give you some answers. and I heard Mr. Light tell you that he'd answer your questions, but he sure as hell made a point of not saying he'd answer them truthfully. You want the truth? That's a good point. You're going to have to get one of their one of their items and hold it hostage. How do you suggest we do that and get around one of these uh, fake <clears throat> rules? I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. It's going to be difficult. There are some people at the carnival that could help you. Durlagron, Candlefoot, Palasha. They're all good eggs. Sure, if you could make friends with them, they could help in some way. Where can we find Palasha? <clears throat> the mermaid? Yeah. We know where to find the mermaid, all right? It's only one place you're going to find the mermaid. He told us, at least he, like, he bombed us. Like Silver he Swan Lake. Oh. oh, is it a top half mermaid or a bottom half mermaid? Oh, top half mermaid. Oh, so it's fish head? No, it's bottom fish half Fish head with human legs? That's a bottom half mermaid. Yeah, that's, that's top a bottom half mermaid. Well, I guess it depends. It depends. Right? What, what top half are you talking about? Yeah, which yeah, half are you talking about? Like, you know? Well, mud, yeah, you, maybe the both. Sea, right? Yeah. Uh, made of the sea. <laughs> all right, she's a bottom yeah, half mermaid. All right, but yeah, bottom half mermaid. All right, she's yeah. a bottom half mermaid. <laughs> anyway, my point is, you're going to have to find a way to get one of these items. Yeah. That's the only way. They need them to run this carnival. They need them. Which one's more valuable? Which one's more powerful? Ooh. <laughs> one the There's no answer to that. Both of them are required to run this carnival. Ooh. Both of them are required for them to function the way they need to function. If you get that weather vane or you get that pocket watch, you are guaranteed to get what you need from them to get it back. The only thing I ask is that no harm comes to either one of them. I really mean it when I say they're good guys, but they're caught up in something. Hmm. In over their heads. They're huh? in over their heads. Oh, I'll bet it's Scabifer. <coughs> Couldn't tell you. I've never heard that name before. Uh, I'm Grunkle Electrumbex. That's my name. Great. And he loves unicorns. Oh, I, 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 I already told you that, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I love unicorns. Love that um, for you. Anyways, uh, I appreciate it, friend. And I'll take a couple gold pieces out and put it in his palm. Now, my guess is that the watch is probably going to be easier to steal. It's smaller. It's often tucked inside of Mr. Witch's pocket, whereas the weather vane is always held in Mr. Light's hand. Much harder to get than the pocket watch. Mm. We can never <clears throat> get him to drop Drop the weather vane and put something else in his hand. No, I was with him for almost an hour. Yeah. He has a very firm grip. Yes, I feel like that would be impossible. I, don't, I feel like the pocket watch is the right way to go. I mean, Frost did build a little bit of a relationship, though. Hmm. Now, the information I can tell you about both, depending on what you choose to do, and I'm hoping you'll take my words to heart, and this will not leave this place right here. You're not going to go <clears throat> spreading this around. Mm -hmm. mm. We can be very discreet. Now, you said you know what the witch light vein does. I'm assuming the rest of you do, too? No, I don't. It... No. Well, other than declare the, the king... The yeah. Witch and light have no control over who the monarch will be. But it's always the guest who's contributed the most to the happiness of the carnival. The monarch's given a charm that lets them fly. It's given to them from the vein itself. Mm. It's like a emotional tuning fork or honing magnet or something. Mm. Mm. But it is responsible for the overall emotional health of the carnival. The carnival wouldn't be what it is without that thing. As for the watch, well, the watch is what's used to pack up and build up the carnival. At the end of it, Mr. Witch uses it to collapse the carnival into a small little, little box and take it wherever he wants. Uses it to rebuild the carnival. Without that pocket watch, there would be no witch like carnival. Do the people uh, who run the carnival stay inside when it's shrunk into this little space? <laughs> Those that decide to stay on, yeah. So they shrink with it. They aren't like crushed horribly as the transformation. Occurs. Do I look like I'm crushed horribly? 
I didn't know that you'd been through this process before. I was just asking. You don't get into a position like mine by being a one-timer here, I'm telling you that. I've been with the Witch Light Carnival for a long time. Long, yeah, long time. I get the sense that Mr. Lot wouldn't like a one-timer. He doesn't. Do I get a sense that I believe that he is genuine in his uh, uh, want for good for Mr. Light and Roll Mr. An Witch? Check. And or and that he's telling the truth in this sense. Um, and while you're doing that, he says, now the pocket watch is attached to a waist chain, waistcoat nice chain. Good money. It's tucked into the pocket. If you're going to, if you're going to get that watch away from him, you're going to have to find some way to break that chain. And from what I've heard, that chain is very sturdy. So you're going to have, uh, going to have a rough time. Mm. I feel a 22 about it. He seems to be very genuine. You can tell that what he's asking you, he's not asking you to sow discord. He's not asking you to steal it and never get it back. He wants you to take it just enough to figure out what's going on so that you can free these people that he cares about from whatever bond or whatever deal that they have struck. Um, he is asking you to, to help because he genuinely believes that Mr. Light and Mr. Witch are good people. Very good. Now, there is someone I'd like you to stay away from. Who? Oh. Thacko the Clown. He's untrustworthy. He might lead you to believe that he wants to help, but he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he's working with whoever, <clears throat> whoever's blackmailing my bosses. What's he worth to you, dear? Who? Oh. Just as much as he is alive, absolutely nothing. Well, what if he says the same thing about you? We start talking to the stack on. He says, "Look out for Grumble Puss." My name is Burley. Oh, really? The yes, whole time yeah, he, he yeah. introduced himself as Grum as a uh, Grumble. Puss. Yeah, I thought he introduced Burley. himself as Grumble Burley. Puss Burley, Burley. Too. Yeah. you got me all confused. It's Grumble Puss. Yeah, Sorry. I think Frosty's being a little bit of a Grumble Puss yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. Frosty's being a little Grumble These Puss. These panties ride up, all right. Yeah, just because we couldn't find Zendaya that one time. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Um... I'm, I miss Zendaya. I miss Zendaya. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you something about myself that I don't share with anyone. Oh, oh. If you're going to trust me, uh, I'm going to trust you. Okay. Mm-hmm. I have a twin brother, Hurley. Hurley and Curly. Hurley. Hurley? H-U-R-L-Y. Hurley and Burley. You had mean parents. Hurley went missing. Oh, I don't hear that. I queried Mr. Witch and Mr. Light about it. And though they told me that Hurley probably just wanted more than a which light hands life. Though I knew that to be the case, he always wanted to be a performer. He wanted to be an actor. It was his dream. Mm. And he, he was trying so hard to, to get a spot on the big top extravaganza. And I feel like he was so close. He was so close. I don't think he would leave. I, think I, I was, truly don't. You think he was taken? I think he oh, was taken. Well, what was his act? Maybe he just left to work on it. That's possible. He was a one man <clears throat> show. Well, he liked doing voices, he liked performing. Oh. You don't leave your twin brother behind. No. Just without telling we, were, him. we were very, very close. He would have left me a note. He would have let me know where he was going so I could find him. He would want he would want me to know that he was safe. He was okay. Let me I, ask you this. <clears throat> the number of people missing in this carnival seems to be... A lot. Is it this way every year where, where dozens or, or more go missing? It's been this way for a while now. Okay, so we didn't accidentally, like, he didn't capsule corp the carnival on top of, like, a <laughs> burial ground or some sort of catacombs. <laughs> this, this, this is ongoing. Yes. Okay, very good. Hmm, the plot thickens, uh, gentlemen. Uh, Grumple. Now, or Grumple? I, I oh. have, um, I've Grumble. seen this Kenku around, and I think... Oh. I don't think this Kenku is what my bosses think they are. Mm-hmm. I yeah, think well, she's politically motivated. She's a terrorist. We know that's possible. But I was outside when she had her meeting with Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, and she had roughly the same questions: Where is Zabilna? Why are people disappearing? And why are you allowing it to happen at your carnival? Mm. Asking oh. regarding Zabilna. Hmm. Well, yeah, but she's evil, though, right? Huh? She evil? Who? Uh, Kenku. She never killed anybody, never hurt anybody. Well, she almost uh, killed that poor fellow, but I mean, I guess who cares about that From guy? what I can tell, her main oh, yeah. purpose is 
a similar task to yours. Oh, oh come she's on. trying to she's trying to get a hold of the weather vane or the pocket watch to force Mr. Witch or Mr. Light to give her the answer she seeks. On the same quest. <laughs> so I'll have a seem. theory. All right. I got a Oh, you go. I don't know. You're not gonna want to follow up my theory. No, I don't have a theory. I have a, I have a caper of sorts. I think we can pull off. Ooh, so I've okay. done a little before, but you go with your theory. I got a plan for how I think we can get that. Work. I think that someone <clears throat> unscrupulous mm-hmm. was trying to kill the dwarf with a rogue renegade dragonfly. Mm-hmm. It's probably like. Uh, 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 and the Kenku is like, I'll oh, save the dwarf. And going, and we think, oh no, it's the Kenku. But the Kenku was trying to help all along. Huh? I mean, I guess that's <laughs> theoretically possible, but I mean, what are the odds that there was a Kenku and someone else in the bushes? <clears throat> Mr. Light explicitly told me that. Uh... There's a lot of sex pests in the bushes. I mean, this, this <laughs> cotton looks full of them. I love this place. <laughs> Oh, well, I was a witch lord hand. I mean, there's a bunch of creeps here, you know, they're all in the bushes doing weird shit, you know. Why, but why are they casting curses on people to crash into, on dragonflies? Oh, yeah, what? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'll bet that dwarf knows more than he let on. I think he was just oh. a bumblefuck from Ogway. Uh, at least he looked it. Hmm. The plot thickens. Uh, Mr. Light explicitly told me that the Kenku was causing mischief <clears throat> to try and sour the carnival so that people would leave so that it could get its its, its way. Hmm. I got nothing. We're going to have to confront the Kenku and get answers for ourselves, and then we'll be able to make an informed decision, Grunkle. You're right, Twinkle Bell. Mm-hmm. We need to follow the facts. I think we build a little coalition. We wage a goal against Daco, <coughs> but we use him to get the information. Oh! We try to get, get a sense of what the fuck's going on here. If he knows, he more can than lead us right to Scabbard. Exactly, right. Daco. Yeah, that that's a very good idea. Mm. And uh, we've always got Gideon. You turn him into a Thacko shit. Oh, Frosty, I love when you talk like that. Man, yeah. I'm itching to scrap some some clowns. No. And not this time, because they have a felt allergy or a horrible goblin meat, you know, substitution allergy. But because you just hit the process. Real. So it's like, a, uh, like that moment in Avengers where they're like Hulk smash. Gideon kill clown. Yeah. Well, I mean, really anything, but yeah, I just, you know, it's been a long time since we've, like, scrapped around a little bit. Do, Do we... So, go ahead. Do we need to assemble a team? We have assembled. We've assembled a team. No, no, no. Like, and like, you will be like, oh, you stupid mom that everyone hates. Oh, you mermaid was like, you know what I mean? And you, that other guy that that Burley said, I forget who that was supposed to be. Who again? Um, I told you. Uh, he told you that it was Candlefoot. Uh, okay, Candlefoot. Mom was one. Yep, yeah. it's one of them. Uh, Candlefoot mine. the mine, Palasha, Palasha the Mermaid, Durlagran. and Durlagran. 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 Yeah, who's that? We met Durlagran, didn't we? Durlagran is a displacer beast. You have not met. Durlagran. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Kitty Whiskers, you mean? <laughs> Miss Kitty Whiskers? Is that what you call her? Yeah, I, I met her eight years ago, and I feel like it was a very important meeting. With Miss Kitty Whiskers, and I can't... Well, she's been here a long time, too. I can't remember why it would be important. When Gideon becomes one punch man. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that one shot. Yeah, or the <laughs> fist just appears. Yeah. Bro. Gideon, uh, are you sure that it's... Is it just a coincidence that you're being haunted by clowns because you've killed clowns in succession? If you kill something else, do you think it would haunt you, or is it only the clowns that are assembling in your in your Well, nightmares? I mean, I oh, I was gonna say if we meet up with this Kenku, I'm happy to try, but the Kenku plays into my caper. So well, agree with me on this: <clears throat> do not kill the Kenku until we get some answers out of it. Otherwise, I think our mystery will be lost in the wind. So, Kremi and I, a couple towns back, we peeled off this caper called the. What'd you call it? 
Well, you have to remind me what we did. Oh, uh, well, I, okay. Well, so here's the thing. The aloof wanna... carpetbaggers, maybe. <clears throat> no, that was not even close to it. The whiskey slim caper. Well, that's pretty good, but I don't The think greasy it's... frog leg? <sighs> I don't know. It'll come to you. Let me, let me walk you through it. So, how do you get... Well, how do you get something from someone when it's under protection 24-7? There, there are a hundred million answers to that question. No, there's just one. You, you, get, you get them to move it. Mm. How do you get them to move it? You threaten it. Someone's coming for it. Oh! They think that the Cancun's coming to mess up their carnival. Mm -hmm. We meet up with the Cancun. We say we're on the Cancun side. Trying to trying to get in, we're trying to get that watch. We set her up to go in, steal the watch. We go to Mr. Witch, say, "Hey, this Cancun's coming for your watch. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta move it. We gotta put it somewhere safe." Mm -hmm. We get in on it and as we, he's moving it from his pocket somewhere so else. And we promise the watch protection. We promise the watch protection. But exactly. if we keep it safe, how are we gonna get it then? Because we'll have been given it for the purposes of safety. We're the ones keeping it safe. But then it's not going to be safe. It's, we're going to steal it. It's still being stolen. It's not safe. No, no. We're borrowing it for ransom purposes. The idea is to deceive Mr. Witch into giving us the watch to protect it from the Kenku. And honestly, I don't think we need to meet the Kenku for this purpose. He already knows that there's threat of the watch uh, from the Kenku in this place. I think we need cooperation. The Kenku's on our side. At least has the same goal we do. We can bother with it. Isn't she a warlock too? If she's a warlock and there's a bill as a patron. We're already helping old Madrick. There's no difference helping the Kenku too. Yeah, and he's not gonna just hand over the watch if there isn't a real threat bearing down. <laughs> we need the Kenku to really come on strong. <laughs> and then he gives us the watch to keep it safe momentarily. That's right. <laughs> Kermit convinces him. And I think the good Baron might be able to help out with some of this. Hey, can he? The Razorback Fall? What do we call this? I mean, do we, have, do, do, do we have like a line on a name? I don't know. Ooh, uh, you get him to move it like the Italian job. Or like, 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 like the oh, old the drunk, do? the drunk grasshopper. Ooh, it's kind of no. nice. Uh, Wait, didn't didn't Mr. Rosloff give us letters or something that we were supposed to open that I completely forgot about? He fucking yeah. did give us letters, and you have them. Please tell me you still have Gid. Oh, yeah. I mean, I haven't. I mean, yeah, I got everything, I think. I got the gold. I got those letters. No, I have the gold. Yeah. No, I have the gold. Oh, well, you hold the gold, but I'm keeping track of the gold. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're yeah. all Where, where are you keeping all this I on your the person? Gold. <laughs> I have the gold. In his back pocket. <clears throat> yeah. I don't think those ones seem relevant for anything. I thought, you know. What, you want to read them? Yeah, what if it's like, oh, hey, my old pal... Uh, uh, Ms. Kenku, uh, uh, Katie is gonna be at the, uh, carnival, and she's looking for Zabuna too, you should probably go talk to her. And she's actually pretty cool. She makes great blueberry muffins, you should also try them. That sounds pretty nice. I mean, I mean we shouldn't read it then. Do you think she also makes, like, if she does, if she is good at making muffins, do you think she'd also be good at making lemon poppy seed muffins? Oh. I what? love those. I love lemon poppy seed. I love muffins. those. Oh, oh, they're good. I yeah. mean, they're really good, right? Oh, those are damn right, good. Right, wasn't that we had a good lemon poppy seed muffin? Oh, hey? Okay. You think she, been a while. You I think mean. she can make good... Wait, how does she make muffins? How do we... Oh, it was a hypothetical one. I what tricked myself into yeah, thinking no, it was real. She's not a baker. I mean, <sighs> she's a cancun. <laughs> okay, she, she can't even speak. I mean, she, she can only mimic. You can mimic uh, um, the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Hmm. She can I mimic the Muffin we're... Man. What if we open the letters and she is a good guy? And then we set her up to do this crime thing and, you know, they end up, like, imprisoning her. Well, well, I feel kind of bad. I don't know what... Ch I mean, yeah, first of all, why would we ever feel bad? Second of all, I mean, if she has the same goal, I, she's got nothing else to lose. It sounds like she's trying to do something that she's in way over her head. And I think that she could use allies like us, and that means being a being a plant, <coughs> being a distraction, being whatever it is we need her to be. I mean, she doesn't really have a choice at this point. Oh, she's causing a ruckus too, and she's avoided the sow pig, Ms. Pig, Ms. Pig. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, ah, <laughs> yeah. She might be pretty a pretty slippery customer too. Mm -hmm. But I still think we need to rough up uh, Facco. It's no, Thacko, T H A C. No, no, I mean I'm I'm Grico though, so I'll yeah. say Thacko, free okay. Thacko, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay. What a Flacco that guy is. <laughs> so I think that we need to trick Flacco, and then we can follow him, and he would be like, oh, I'm going to go meet up with Scabber for later, and Miss Pigs, and that horrible, disgusting frog thing that I just want to kill. And then the moon lady. Mm-hmm. And then we jump out and say, you're the bad guy, Flacco. And we reveal, we blow the whole thing open. Hey? Hey? I mean, if this clown is as weak as the other clowns at this carnival, it'll be a piece yeah, of cake. On him. Ah, I probably shouldn't touch him, actually. Just die I also have a theory about that. Yeah, I'll stand ten feet away. Have we encountered, since you manslaughtered Chuckles, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, have you, have we been near any clowns until the carnival? The answer to that would be no. It's pretty unlikely, I mean, yeah. I don't and remember all that, like, in the laughing, he was, like, muttering all that weird stuff? I mean, I was, I don't really remember. I, just I feel like getting When he was in the grass, grass before. When he was have, freaking out in the grass? Yeah, when remember? he was freaking out in the grass, he's on his fit? Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, laughed until he died. Oh, that's what I mean. I'm, I'm saying, oh, it's awful mysterious. It seems that you've been cursed by a clown's laughter. You know, I think chat's right. I think it has been a while since you've had fake curses. Oh, no. <laughs> and I have can't a we, lot can't of we just take a 15 minutes to plan the meta plot of this adventure? I have, I have a lot of dreads. Anyway, Burley. You got Wait, where are we going? You, you, got, you got the leads on where this Kanku is. Let's just build a plan first. Quick, before, before we have to sing everything. Hold on. Burley, please. Please, Burley. Before, before or after we get hit with this, can we take a break? I think after. I'd like to know what my curse is, so if I, there's any improv, I can do a little bit of thinking ahead of time. <laughs> that's Twinkle well, Bell. That's before, not after. No, I'm going to take the break after. Oh, I was So saying, I want to learn. I was saying we should get the curses before or after. Oh, uh, I'm missing this to what you yeah, mean. Yeah, 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 ye
Your knees become fused. You lose the ability to run. Oh, is it raining? <laughs> hey, now that you've fallen on the ground, can, can you uh, slide over here and kiss me on the lips? My fucking legs, Gideon. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, yeah, Look that's at what's fine. happened. I don't need your legs. I need your lips. You're not even listening. Gideon. What? Listen, I mean, you can kiss me too. I just, I'm a, I'm a frog. I see, get the fuck away from me. What? I see the faces of mm -hmm. everyone I've ever let down, and it's just the faces of, of eternity in the rain. I look at the rain. Do I see any faces of eternity? No. You I think see rain. is the reason why we've had such misfortune. Hey. Is it because of the. Are these clown faces? No. Some oh, of them are. Well, let me know. Ah! I mean. Uh, I never really thought twice about the horns, Gid. I just figured, oh, you got, you know, five genie blood and they got horns, but... Yeah. What you, are you talking about? Are you right even... Now? Are you even a genasi? Well, not right now. You're a devil, Gid. No! You what? You fooled me this whole time! You're saying really disparaging things to me right now, and I am royalty. Again. No, you're not royalty. I'm royalty. No, you're not. Oh, you, yeah, you're the king of devils? Is that what you're saying? No! You're I'm the, the prince of, of demons? I'm the prince of frogs! No, you're the prince of demons. No, I'm the prince of frogs! Oh, this is all right very jealous here. about that. Oh, 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 oh. I sit I up and just, it. like, watch them with my legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his fucking legs! Oh, your fucking legs! Yes, oh. yes, I, uh... I have fey magic locks my legs together. It's I hop over strange. to Frosty and perch on his. Uh... Well, I'm actually like a frog, a small frog. No, you just think you are. Oh, I hop over to Frosty <laughs> and perch on. Him. <laughs> I perch on his knees. I perch on his. Gideon. What do you mean? Give me a nut. You're uh, very heavy. No, wait, You're but kiss me. Heavy, Can you kiss me? This is, I, you gotta turn me back. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> Get, get off of me! Yeah. I'm gonna push him off. Oh, the ch he's trying to kill oh, the, the, the no. children! Oh, oh, the children! Oh. Gideon, you're under the some sink. sort of uh, influence of the uh, uh, magics of this area. Kissing, also... kissing you is not gonna solve your problem. Um, I just yours, can't believe it. Grico, yours is being changed. You, oh. you, you feel as things uh, shift, oh. and you can only speak in oh. lines from oh. musicals, oh. movies, poetry, or oh. other media. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Grunkle. <Wait, laughs> this is gonna be really hard. That's, like, a, that's a tough one. Yeah. A tough one. Um, you like jazz? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know this. Why, why you ask? You hate jazz, though. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, while you're thinking, you mind kissing me on the lips? This whole time, I believe everything that's gone wrong. <laughs> what did it's you right. think? <laughs> 18 plus content counts. 18 plus content. Uh, yeah. It's all movies. 13. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, somebody's got to kiss me. I can't be a frog prince forever. He's trying to curse all of us. He's trying to pass his horrible eldritch curse on to every single one of us. I don't win. He's a devil. He's a fiend. It's not a horrible it's eldritch curse. It's your fault that Hootsie's gone. It's your fault that we've manned up in this mess. Grimmy, this Why is... would you say that to me? This is very unlike, unlike you. He's a despicable monster. And that I is a horrible about thing to say. I, I would know. still, however, let you kiss me on the mouth. <laughs> Well, what, what would that do if I did that? It would undo me being a frog prince. I'd go back to being my fire genasi, normal non-prince self. Well, maybe I'd still be a prince. I don't know, actually. <laughs> it's worth a try. Yeah. Why don't you just kiss me? Would it undo you being a monster? I mean, I don't think I'm a monster right now. I'm just a, you know, I'm a charming frog. Get out of my swamp. <laughs> what? I'm not in your swamp. Get what? out of my swamp. You don't have a swamp. You're just over there dancing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain too. <laughs> I walk in the rain as well. In the rain? In the rain. In I the walk rain? in the rain. In the rain, yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's some kind of devil's trick. Look, we're not going to be able to execute any kind of plan in this condition. I'm gonna army crawl to the next thing that we can do, and and perhaps we can relax on a ride or enjoy a game. Can I rejoin Guys Night? Uh, if, if that's what you're calling it. No, you Guys Night no, is over. Can, no, you can if you kiss me. Oh, okay. No, not you. No, 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 no. Yeah. no anybody else? No. 
You never wipe your mouth off. off. You never been against sloppy seconds before, kid. Why now? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's a strong, <laughs> strong, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, lean down. Oh, right. no, I'm just a frog. I'm already on the ground. You're standing up. No, I'm not. I'm on the ground. R- ribbon? Hey, I'm looking R- right back. Ribbon? Yeah, yeah, ribbon? Yeah, I'm right here. Yeah. Ribbon? He, he's a toad demon this whole time. Right, I'm coming back. I, I, pro- I, I hop back up onto his knees. <laughs> All right, don't. Yeah, what? What are you grabbing? <laughs> I would like you both to make a performance check to see how well you kiss. Natural twenty. <laughs> I'm a passionate but generous lover. <laughs> Performance? Yeah. 18. Oh, yeah. You, Your lips meet each other's. And at first, you think this is just a kiss to cure your friend, but your lips are soft and Ugh. supple. And it's been a while since you've experienced any kind of romance as you both lean mm. in. And it's been at least 15 minutes. It's been at least 15 <laughs> minutes. Uh, as you begin to passionately kiss each other. Well, for me as well. <laughs> Maybe um, your arms are still behind your back, you filthy mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I have the weirdest boner on now. Oh, I was going to say how nice your embrace was, but you are sitting on my legs, which I can't feel, so everything's fine. No legs, no arms. I just went from uh, six to midnight. Yeah. <laughs> well, you taste like artificial sugar. <laughs> Get away from him! <laughs> what? I, I put you apart. Hey! What are you doing? You're trying to kill him. You no, I'm not trying to kill him. Do you feel cursed now? That was a dazzling kiss. I was just testing my hypothe- the hypothesis that this would end the curse. And oh, yes! Do you, do you still feel like a frog? Yeah. Uh, damn it! <laughs> It's probably because somebody else got there first. See, no, there, there's nothing you. to do to fix my legs in the same way that you can't be unmade a no, frog. No, I think your kiss just it's, wasn't. It's all know. in your mind. You just didn't put your back into it. <laughs> well, I... You already gave it away to another. Yeah, you kiss last passion. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know, an 18 seems pretty bad. <laughs> as, as the rain falls on me, I'll just let out a sigh. I'm just gonna sit down and just rest up against like uh, a wall or a barrel that's just near yeah, me. Yeah, one of the I would say like one of the wheels of the wagon. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it is to be a slave. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on fire off the shoulder of our Orion. I watch sea beam, beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears and rain. Time to die. (laughs) It's too bad Thacko won't live. But then again, who does? So fucking good. My legs, gr- uh, Grunkle. Uh, My fuck, legs. You're a fucking filthy monster. You know that, game? Hey, I don't know why you are saying such disparaging things to me. This is hurtful. Lie down in your little frog ditch and die of a horrible frog's death. What is the matter with you? I'm saying you're a horrible monster. Look at those horns. Look at I, that. You, you think you're a frog. You don't look anything like a frog. I say all this while over a frog. Really? Your arm's still behind your back? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that thing where I hit. Yeah. I'll reach out my hand, and I'll I'll grab I'll like hold, let the rain fall on it. I'll grab some soil. The world has changed. I'll feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I'll smell it in the air. Mm-hmm. I'll stand back up. Much that much that once was, much that once munch. was is munch. lost. Mm-hmm. For none now live who remember it. You're not making any sense, Gregor. Yeah, what's the matter with you? I'm walking here, let's go. <laughs> and, and as you say that, I use another twist of dread. Ooh. On who? All of you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to put my legs between your armholes, and then I can like ride you like a backpack. Is that acceptable to you? <laughs> I've been after that, kids. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, lean, lean down. 
<laughs> All right, now, now we can go wherever we need to go. Yeah. Oh, did it 15 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. A secret. Oh no, actually, yeah, no, we'll we'll do you. A secret has been revealed that will make you hate someone you love. You can choose the secret and which person you've decided to hate. It does not have to be true. <laughs> the voice of the last person you killed tells you things about their life no one wants to know. It's going to be Gideon's. You know, Klutzy had gonorrhea. <laughs> you know what? Actually, we should do it this. Do we want both? Of, do we want all the clowns to be able to talk at one time, or should we roll to figure out which clown is going to haunt him? At I any think we. Time? I think we do one at a time to introduce, and then eventually we stack. Okay. So, do you want to do one at a time right now? <laughs> uh, well, hi, Gideon. Uh, it's nice to see you again. I, hey, I'm gonna do a magic trick for you. Uh, I, uh, uh, you know, I can pull a and it, it's in a scarf out of my sleeve like this. I just pull like, uh, oh, this isn't sleeve at all. This is my intestines. <laughs> family that I can't ever see again now that I'm stuck in the eternal torment of the nine hells. (laughs) (laughs) Are we in the nine hells or are we deep in the abyss? Um, uh, You now believe that you are turning into a were-gator? You are not. Oh, hell you. What? You cursed me, too. No, I didn't. I didn't even kiss you. I kissed Frosty. Everywhere you go, it just follows you. I'm turning into a monster just like you. What? Man, that was kind of hurtful. Look at, look at what you're doing with me. I'm not doing anything to you. I got Frosty on my back. I'm a frog, Prince. My teeth are about to grow from fathomable lengths. What, why would you think that? You just, want, look you just want to drag me down with you, Gideon. No, I don't want to drag you anywhere. Is this your plan the whole time? What? You look no. up into the sky and you see that the rain, cl- the rain clouds begin to move and the beautiful, brilliant, circular full moon shines down over you, illuminating this area of the carnival. I can't believe it. I can't believe you. Uh, what a secret I've learned. Everything all right? No, it's not okay. I hate Uncle Globo now. Hmm. Who? <laughs> Is that a movie quote? Or... <laughs> I hate Uncle Globo. His goblin surf and turf was actually ooh, plant proteins. <laughs> oh. Oh. He was trying. Hard. He was Did trying I, to make a huh? deal with the local goblin I thought you public did. schools. Didn't, didn't and I, I was his guinea one? pig. I have my legs and I also just played Clutsy, but I don't think I oh. actually got a thing for Frost. Sorry. Oh, that was mine. I'm on to it, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm alligator hissing. Well, that's I right. never do that. I haven't done this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were just breathing like that, like just a couple minutes ago. <laughs> what? No, 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 what are you doing? Now. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. Stop just... it. What I'm I'm doing? Trying I'm trying to get No, no. no. What are you doing? You're not talking like thing. you. No. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Quit calling me a monster. Quit doing that. You're looking super weird. Yeah. What are you turning into? If I chase you, just running zigzags. Uh. I can't turn very fast. Uh. Oh. I hate Uncle Globo. And I get on all fours. And a, I... a talking flea now lives in your nose, Frost. I can't. Oh, dear. Oh. I mean. <laughs> yes. Hey. 
Yeah, hello? Hey. Hey. Yeah, who, who, who is there? You're very tickly up in there. It's me, Flea. Well, hello, Flea. Um, would you mind not living in my nose? No. So you would not mind? Yes. Yes. Uh, you're gonna make me sneeze if you continue to, uh, uh, Tarzan my, my nostril hairs like this. I, I can hang on. Yeah, I, I can feel that. It's like... Yeah. Hi. Hi. A false alarm. I have an unreasonable oh, I... love for the red hot chili pepper. <laughs> <laughs> All of my friends don't think they're very good, but I would always say dream in Californication. <laughs> why, why do you keep lying to me, Juggles? <laughs> you don't have any friends. I do now, Gideon. <laughs> I have a best friend now. Oh, don't say it's me. Hey, what's your favorite color? I don't have a favorite color. I don't believe in that. My favorite. I'm sorry. I sneeze all the over the back of your head. Oh, oh, what? What the hell, Frosty? Who are you talking to? I'm sorry. There's a small uh, flea uh, talking to me and living inside of my nose at this time. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh. My favorite color is blue. Yes. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs> Get! I'm turning. No! Uh, the only thing left to do now is have a monster battle to the death. Kermit, we can't have a monster battle to the death, all right? You're not a monster. You're not turning into anything. Oh, you're I just rolling around on the ground in your fancy clothes. suit. I'm coming, you frog slut! <laughs> <laughs> alligator waddle and up to him and bite, bite him on the leg. <laughs> Ow! And once I bite, I'm going to attempt to roll okay. and, and death roll his leg off. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Death roll his his leg off. His leg off. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, this is the part where Gideon permanently loses loses <laughs> a leg. The, the the curses go just beyond the the threshold. Twelve to hit. <laughs> Misses. Yeah, you attempt to, but he is he believes he's a frog, and he quickly leaps over you, uh -huh. and uh, uh -huh. and you're not able to find purchase on his flash. <laughs> Catch me! And I'm just gonna run after you. Ribbit. And, and you're just zigzagging, jumping, and so like I have to stop and really slowly adjust and then run after you. I need you all to roll a perception check at disadvantage. Get away from her, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Is that just the movie quote? 17. Okay. Oh, I rolled a net 20 Perfect. and an 8. At a disadvantage? disadvantage. Yes. <laughs> oh, so it was an 8. Uh, 12. Yeah. Uh, God, a lot of fruit tearing today. Uh, yeah, tell that to Frost. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> fruit tearing today. 18. <laughs> 18. Oh, I'm here for it. Uh, uh, I got a six. 18. 17. 17? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did you get? 18. 18, Super perfect. Well. Okay, can continue. Uh, how long have you been in there, little man or, or thing, whatever you are? Oh, I just got here a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. are you... I was getting cold. It was raining. I had a big flea problem when I was very young. I, I hope you aren't a sign of things to come. No, I think it's just me. Okay, that's good. Uh, would you mind vacating? Uh, you're living in my nose rent-free, and I don't care for it. Yeah. <laughs> you would mind? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mind that you're in my nose. I can't seem to uh, get you out. <laughs> You could try and pick me, but that'd be kind of rude. <coughs> I extend a claw. Ow. 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 Bro, ow. Bro. Ow. 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 Did I get you? No, I'm still in here. Shit. Are you still running? No, I'm hopping. Are you still hopping away? I will either attempt to keep biting you or chasing you until one of us is dead. <laughs> All right, you attempt to bite me. I'll stop hopping. Fly, you fools! I'm I'm still holding on to your back. Yeah. Ah. 
<laughs> and I missed um, Ghost of Death Roll anyway. And it is, it is about this time you have, I would say with <coughs> all of whatever this is, you have made your way out of the big top extravaganza and are heading straight towards the, um, the thoroughfare that leads to all of the carnival games. And it is at this point that you hear from the shadows. Hey, what the fuck are you guys doing? I'm all I feel the need, the need for speed. <laughs> uh, who, who, who's, who's that? You'll have to speak up. There's a small flea in my nose. Nah, don't come anywhere near us. He thinks he's a crazy, uh, you know, wear crocodile. I don't know, some kind of horrible monster. Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> And you you look around and you see that there is a candy striper pixie who is standing there as you guys run past trying to hold out um, uh, taffies to you, but you just run. Gideon, past. so run in a circle. To turn around, we need the taffy. Okay. Uh, ribbit. 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 I'll, I'll, ribbit. Ribbit. I'll drink your milkshake. I'll drink it up. <laughs> <laughs> If I tell you I'm an oil, oil man. I've abandoned my time! <laughs> I've abandoned my owl boy! Oh, wow. I've abandoned my child! Can you just stuff, stuff one of those in my <coughs> mouth? Quickly! Uh, you feel my legs start to animate, and uh, presumably the flea disappears as well. Goodbye! Uh, okay. oh. Yeah, I, give, me, give me one of those. Give me one of those. It's kind of grim. And she looks at you chomping and she just tosses a, oh, I'm just flailing a taffy I'm, into I'm your mouth. Like, I'll climb down from you. You don't get to bring friends. I'm sorry? Bane? <laughs> no, uh, 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 Morning Frost or it's, Twinkerbell. It's at that My point. My flight plan. On <laughs> it's at that point. The two of you notice something about this candy striper pixie. Mm -hmm. She shifts in a strange magical way and you realize that this image that you're looking at isn't real. It's a disguise of sorts. As you see her wave her hand towards you to duck behind one of these gaming booths. Follow Gentlemen. me. We'll get you fixed right up. Did I do all of that with Battle Axe Nipple Clamp song? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> It was remarkable. <laughs> you can see the, the the path where you've been walking has like literally like divots, <laughs> perfect cone divots going into the ground. Oh wow, well, yeah. Uh, happily, happily. Uh. And as the um, as you make your way around the back end of this uh, of this gaming booth, you watch as the magic fades, and standing in front of you is a Kenku in a dark blue robe. She looks out at you, and as she opens her mouth, it is very clear that this is unlike any Kenku that you've met. This Kenku is speaking with a voice. It is not mocking. It is no mimicry. It is a voice that the two of you immediately recognize would suit a certain mime. As the Kenku says to you, Well, I'm so glad that you were able to find me. We have a lot to talk about. Sibilna has gone missing, and though Madric and I do not get along, well, we do have one thing in common. We we want what's best for Sibilna, and I do not believe that Mr. Witch and Mr. Light are up to good. And that is where we'll end the session. All right. <laughs> I would not have expected Candlefoot to sound like that at all. <laughs> yeah, well, your character would, okay? Because <laughs> right. I am a mime. I'm a big honking mime today. <laughs> Well, yeah. no, they're mimes because maybe they can't do wacky voices. Oh, yes, that's exactly right. Well, I suppose. I it can. said that he had a somber voice, and that was yeah. my oh, best. Oh, no, 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 Okay. That's what it said in the book. <laughs> it's cool that it gives you voice like guidelines. Yeah. We're not done, though. <laughs> We're not <laughs> done. <laughs> what's next? Hi! 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 We're gonna do some Avantress and Chill. What's Avantress and Chill, anyone that isn't Mikey? Hey! Uh, it's Reunion! Our, 
People who are have subbed uh, or subscribed to our channel uh, may or patrons with VIP or patrons with VIP may continue to watch as we talk through our favorite moments, uh, theory craft, uh, answer questions in chat. It's a fun time. If you're not a subscriber, jump into the pool. It's great. It's warm. Everything's cool. And additionally, um. What was the, the final point that I had? Uh, really, I was, uh, uh, got a lawsuit. Oh, oh, yeah, the five minute preview. However, what ends up happening, and this is important for anyone who's doing this for the first time, is it will appear that the channel has shut down. Refresh your page. We'll be back oh. in less than 60 seconds, oh. and we always give some time to make sure that everyone who can get in can, 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 can get in here. Alright, join get in us in Avengers and Chill! Uh, for those that aren't sticking around, what's next? What, what's our schedule like? Uh, oh. We'll be here next Wednesday, uh, which this I'm... Sunday. This Sunday. This Sunday is our Patreon hangout. <laughs> so if you want to hang out with us, you can either join our Patreon as a Mind Flayer tier uh... patron or upgrade to Mind Flayer tier or higher, and you can have a very intimate. Relaxing conversation. Don't Lots blame Derek, everyone. He has rabies. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we'll be back on Wednesday, and then we we have our five year stream anniversary wild action packed weekend with Icebound. My throat hurts. And and else's throat hurts. Me, 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 upon oh. a silver. Strand. On a silver on strand. A silver strand. Upon, upon a silver strand. Damn you. Once upon a silver strand, while I'm weary, upon a silver strand, a Mason Space Tale, mm -hmm. uh, a Spelljammer adventure, mm -hmm. uh, we will be in outer space, mm -hmm. but it's not outer space in Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. While I stall for rich. Uh, what else we got? Is that it? I, I think that's Are we going to cut over? I think we're going to cut over. You can still Thank you for subscribe. everyone for being here tonight. Uh, we will see you next Wednesday. Um, and if you're a patron, we will see you on Sunday, hopefully, for and our stick hangout. around. We're, stick we're around. not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We're, we're going to like, cut over. Cutting over. Thank you, everybody.